I did it. Ahem. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. I know some of you are probably lurking. I know some of you are also no stranger to technical difficulties and the greatest streamer in the world not being able to perform basic functions. <laughs> but today, as promised, I have uh, my friend with me, Triss. That was Triss's cue to like say something, but she's probably just nervous. She's nervous. So, um, Hi. we are going to. <laughs> Just kidding. She's never nervous. We Here's are... what's happening. <laughs> I have your um, Twitch up okay. and it's lagging for sure because I have your Twitch muted, but I have our other Discord open. Yeah, so that's yeah. definitely the problem. Yes. Because you're way lagging compared to what your face is doing. That's cool. That's very cool. Um, the I'll With swap what I can hear. Out of. Yeah. Grow stronger. <laughs> Volp. Thanks, 36 Volp. months of support. That is three years. Damn. Pretty low roll, though. Got to be honest. But yeah, I hope you're doing good. Um, and yes, Twitch uh, can have a bit of a delay for sure. Um, so definitely anytime like uh, when I play on Wednesday with my friend and this and that, we don't use it. It's, it's definitely like TeamSpeak or Discord or whatever. Oh, stream buddy's locked? That's odd. Give me one moment. Let me know if this unlocks it. Leo. Let me switch back and forth. Did that unlock it? Stream buddy? It did. <laughs> yeah, so today uh, we're going to play RuneScape. Uh, Tristan and I have not played RuneScape for years and years and years and years, and years now. And it is still around, so we're gonna we're gonna play the new RuneScape. And by the new RuneScape, I mean RuneScape three, which has been out for like fourteen plus years. The new RuneScape, that one. <laughs> this is this is all after uh, she gets. Um, it was very cool. We're 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 doing the setup and everything like that. And uh, Tris uh, has a life. We'll just put it that way. Um, she was like, wait, Steam, Twitch, Discord. So we got her set up with uh, with a bunch of accounts. And uh, yeah, she's she's got a podcast, though. Wait, do we do we want to let them know you have a podcast? Hello? Uh oh, what happened? Oh, you're muted in Discord. You hit a button somewhere and you're muted in Discord. I can't... Act. If you've been saying stuff, nobody can hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally the worst. I thought... I guess I have to mute, mute you in Discord, not myself. You can mute me in Discord, but it... Wait, so is Discord lagging my words? It might be the video. I'm and not Twitch, sure. It's probably Twitch. If, if you mute... Twitch, like you're you're absolutely always gonna like my mouth is not gonna sync up with what I'm saying. Yeah. Cause so you have two choices. You can either uh mute me on Discord and less listen to me only through stream, in which case we will have a delay like before you respond to stuff. <laughs> or Great. you can mute Twitch and you know, we just talk via Discord and like, I don't know, you can you can look at this mug if you'd like. But uh, <laughs> obviously then what I say to you in Discord and my lips moving will definitely not sync up. It'll be like a really shitty TV connection. Yeah, I think as long as you and I can hear each other because your video is super, super lagged. But if I'm talking yeah. at the right times, so that's probably better. Yeah, so just talk to me through Discord and either close okay. Twitch or like just, you know, yeah, just see me super lagged. Yeah. Okay. What's everyone saying? Let's see. I'm fighting you in this. I've got to go fight this 
Lost, lurking shit. Also, RuneScape 3 fresh start. So we are not on a RuneScape 3 fresh start world. I didn't even know what that was until I launched the game. We're just going to be standard. We are standard newbies who are starting to play the game. So there, there's like this fresh world thing where it's like, oh, are you an old RuneScape veteran or you have this account? Have a quick boost, but start all over again. We're not doing any of that. I bet I could find my old account, though. But it'd be so old. Yeah, it would probably be on old school RuneScape. And like, mm -hmm. it, for me personally, I'm like, oh, I don't have access to that old ass email. Like, I'd have to recover the email first to recover the RuneScape account. Yeah. Yeah, I use the same thing for RuneScape and Neopets and whatever Hell else we were playing yeah. at. Like, <laughs> Homestar Runner. Okay, uh, I never did that one, but like, yeah. Habo Hotel. Oh, you didn't watch Neopets. the e Oh, yeah. Habo. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, you can see you've got fans. Leo knows Homestar, right? That's Arcana, actually. Yes. But I know him as Leo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leo. Yeah, the emails were the best. Yeah. And what was it? Like Trogdor, the Dragon Man? I guess it doesn't help if you don't know. What? Who's. What? <laughs> <laughs> Strong Bad. <laughs> Oh, you have homework oh, okay. after this. Oh, fuck. Hey, Gremlin. Hey, Kai. Hello, everyone joining. Yeah, so what, what I was saying uh, when when uh, Triss was muted and I, I gave them absolutely no opportunity to defend themselves was that uh, they are they are more accustomed to playing like badass like volleyball and basketball oh. and like <laughs> designing escape rooms. Uh, true story. Actually designs escape rooms. Um, all all of that like outdoor touch grass stuff rather than uh, having any programs <laughs> installed. Well, yeah. So I just got a switch. Um, Hell so yeah. I've been playing the new Pokemon game and it's been incredible. Uh, but I'm still trying to convince you to get it so we can play that. Yes. Yeah. Um, you have mentioned but yeah, a couple I, times now. You're like, yo, Pokemon. <laughs> Did I mention Pokemon? I'm having a lot of fun with Pokemon. And I'm like, oh, do I want to spend 80 bucks on Like, yeah. Leo's you been do. trying to get me you good do. too. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I also have Violet. So I picked the uh, grass starter uh, oh, is because it was like... Yeah, obviously. I have three uh, cats. I, the cat. <laughs> I, I always went for the fire starter, but this is one game I looked yeah. and I was like, yo, that grass starter looks awesome. I love cats. Yeah. So what you can do is if you were to get it, hypothetically, I could just give you uh, my grass starter and then you would have it anyway. Wait, you could just hand people Pokemon? What? Well, you can <laughs> breed them and get eggs. Not to fully derail this oh, and yes. force you to buy Pokemon right now. Yes, yes. But you could, oh, and then through random trade, my friend got Charizard and sent it. Well, he had to make an egg and then send it to me. So I have Charmander. But okay. I have the fire starter and the grass starter and my friend just got it and he wanted to pick the water starter. I swear I didn't bully him into it, but he's trying to figure out the picnic so he can send it to me as well. Okay. Look, everyone in your chat has Pokemon. I'm going to derail this because uh -huh. RuneScape's still loading. How? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Triss's RuneScape has to download because uh, they downloaded it. Incompetence. The... Well, no, it wasn't even. Like, you downloaded it through the RuneScape download, like the official one, which you would think would be yeah. good. And then it was just like, ah, can't join the world, chief. Can't, can't connect at all. And I was like, yeah, I, I also had problems, oddly. And I got it through steam and then you went what's steam and then we went from there so you can't out me like this the main fun <laughs> part of me trying to set up was the captcha telling me i was a robot like 30 yes. times in a row i sent i sent shay screenshots being like i swear to god there are no other cars in this photo i yes, had to keep it... doing it i'm like i swear i know what a bike looks like <laughs> It was a very much like a, hmm. <laughs> okay, I was I started to question if I was a robot myself, quite frankly. And then I went into like robot rights. Like, so what if I am? Should I not be allowed to play as well? Yeah. But uh, what is your favorite Pokemon? Because someone in the chat said that Shiny Eevee is their dream. I spent like an hour hunting down a Vaporeon because I'm obsessed with Vaporeon. Hell yeah. It's like a yes. water cat. Yes, I, I, I am I am at a disadvantage to 
like I, I I only played like I said up to what Ruby, which was Gen three, I think. So yeah, mm -hmm. the three three waves of Pokemon is all I know, and I don't even know what they're up to now. Are there like nine generations of Pokemon? Like how many generations of Pokemon are there? Oh gosh, I'm not sure. Like I yeah, now, I really don't know, but I, I can say of the ones that I do know, um, I I, I love. Uh, four-legged ones, yeah, like Eevee, you know, yeah. Flareon, um, yeah. oh gosh, what was it, what, Might Yenna, that, that dark hyena kind of, well, it's not even a hyena, it looks badass, okay? Might Yenna, mm. I think, is, is what it's saying, because it can learn, I, am, um, I can't picture anything, oh, okay, someone in the chat said it, so I'm just gonna Google it. Yes. Okay, yeah, I Might also Yena. had to pick out the panda bears from the raccoons, but I could have sworn I got it right. Here's my issue. I thought I got it right every single time. Oh, I've never seen this Pokemon before in my life, but yes, it looks very adorable. Yeah. So I, I generally like the four-legged Pokemon, but there are some exceptions. Like, yes, Char Charmander and Charizard are badasses. Yeah. I, I Okay, Squirtle Squad, though. Squirtle Squad <laughs> was my favorite, so I always would pick Squirtle because, you know, I just wanted to be a part of, like, a friendship game. Remember when we had a biking gang? Yes. <laughs> we, we would... <laughs> We we would just go biking after school together with one other friend from elementary school and we just called ourselves like the bike gang and then we yeah. would wear gloves so we had we good would, grip. We yes, we we wore uh fingerless gloves as you do <laughs> and we also I do recall us stealing the property markers off of people's properties. You know the little stakes in what? the ground and the like I, I would never. I would literally yeah, never the do orange that. Orange highlighted like like property markers we just take those and then loop them on the back of our bike seats oh my god they're gosh. very cool very very cool yeah i would love there to be a canadian stranger things spin-off as well <laughs> incredible show oh okay you should know i guess by you i mean the chat i'm like I just go on tangents like nonstop. Like I can't help it. But I did just watch the White Lotus finale. Did anybody else see it, or like should I shut my mouth? No, you you can say that. Although uh, two things. One, this this community is no stranger to random person going off on tangents. Mm -hmm. I I frequently will be talking, and then I'm like, okay, so this other thing, <laughs> like half an hour <laughs> later. Um, so that's fine. Two, yeah, you can you can ask them about anything. The only thing is, some people absolutely might be like, "Spoilers! I haven't seen it yet." <laughs> I won't. I won't say anything then. I was yeah, I also really nervous get about this, getting right? spoilers. Yeah, the problem. So Aubrey Plaza is in the show, and people just send me Aubrey Plaza spoilers constantly. So uh, I always have to like, if I'm gonna watch a show with her in it, I have to watch it like immediately. Okay. I the, I got Twitch probably two minutes ago, so I do not have one. I'll make one if Shay will have me back and we can chat and play. Oh, yeah, you've already got one. I, oh, you, you mean like you're going to go live and stuff. You can do that, too, if you want. I mean, probably with you. Yeah, but. Uh... Oh, and I do have to convince you to play uh, my favorite board game, which would be very difficult to do online, but maybe we can find an online version. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is awesome. When you you're like, oh, it would probably be difficult. And and we're like, no, no, it absolutely wouldn't. Tabletop simulator will probably have it. Okay, so does tabletop simulator have above and below? Because that is currently my all-time favorite board game. I'm just obsessed with it. I guarantee that Leo will launch tabletop simulator and then check for you right now. Oh my god. You Leo, also, a hero. Yeah, you've also hit on like 800 points that of Leo. Like Le Leo is one of the community members that are that is a, a regular. And you just came in here and you were like, yeah, so anyway, Pokemon. Also, this, this old ass thing people used to play. Like you literally touched on every point where Leo was like, oh, I like this person. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, well, it sounds like Leo and I have all that. the same interests, which is great. Yeah. Okay, incredible. Yeah, so I'm like, do I fully explain this game? Yeah, you can go for it. it, it you know, okay. RuneScape's still downloading, right? Why not? Uh, I mean, I'll check. <laughs> <laughs>
Also, I'm like, cares? also it's you and I, away. yeah, it's a minute, but also you and I just haven't caught up in a long time either. Like Shay yeah. and I were friends in elementary school and then they moved away for high school and then we visit sometimes and then, you know, university happens and we hadn't seen each other in a while and you just came to visit me. So we had this big catch up and it turns out all of our interests are exactly the same <laughs> and we haven't changed at all. Uh, and then I got, I heard all about Twitch and I want to pop on and hang out and play games online with you. But we should play an escape room together in person one day. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I want to, I want to play an escape room with you both. Well, because I love escape rooms also. Oh, sorry. It's above and below. And yeah, I did not scroll below, down yeah. in the chat. <laughs> I'm figuring <laughs> it out. Um, yeah, above yes. and below is incredible. So it's like a combination of resource collecting and D and D, where you you don't know what your mission is to get victory points initially. You have to buy properties, and they can be above ground or below ground. So they just look like little houses, and different properties that you buy enable you to get victory points in unique ways. Okay. So if I love buying people, which you used to go exploring, uh, and that's kind of the don't D and D. Love that. <laughs> I don't know. Exploring and people buying is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can buy people and then you go exploring with a, a larger group of people. And when you're exploring, you go underground and you roll a dice and you get to uh, a chapter of the book. And you can be as dramatic as you want. You can put on voices, you know, you can live it up. Yeah. And you tell this great tale and you give the person options at the end. It'll be like, there is an old woman holding a gem, but she looks really weak. Do you? And she comes up to you and asks you like, oh, I'm trying to keep this safe. Will you help me go over here? And then the options will be like, rob this old weak woman <laughs> or help her. <laughs> this sounds like and, my kind of game. Yes. Yeah, so then you pick and you get like reputation and stuff from it. And you could like, let's say you decide to rob her, you would probably get her gem, which or is rare in that game. So that might be an excellent decision. But maybe your reputation goes down a little bit. But you never know. Maybe if you help her, she'll give you some anyway. So okay. that's kind of my favorite part of the game. And then what you can also do is like buy buildings. Resources are good when you go underground. Normally you can find some weird stuff. Um, but then if you kind of want to live more of an above ground life, um, you can buy different buildings that, you know, give you all these different, uh, powers to get victory points. But, uh, exploring is definitely the fun option. So are you against the other players or is it co-op yes. or how to, okay. So you are against the other players in terms of you want to end up with more victory points than them, but you're right. not actively doing stuff to hurt them other than maybe buying properties that they're interested in or people that they're interested in. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And then my other favorite board game, not that anyone asked, um, is Dead of Winter. And that one oh, is more Oh, Dead of Winter is fun! Oh my God, it's so good. So yeah. if anybody has not heard of it, it's kind of like zombie apocalypse. You're working together as a team, but you have the option of drawing a betrayer card where there's the possibility of someone on your team trying to betray you. And what happened one game of mine is there's only supposed to be one betrayer card that you can pick from, but somehow we messed up and two were in it. And then somehow... <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it was the most chaotic game I've ever played. And while we were playing, uh, we were able to put like suspicion on both of the betrayers and they got each other out and then somehow like we won even though there were two of them but it was the craziest thing i've ever seen it was very confusing after the first person got out but oh okay so someone in the chat says that you never got to play dead of winter i highly recommend it it's oh yeah it's right there yeah it's a really fun game I also have the Long Night uh, expansion. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, we and again with with obviously people in the community, it's like tabletop simulator because some mm, of these folks yeah. are in the U.S. It's like unless we want to fly, that's why we know and have like a lot of these online things where it's like, oh yeah, it, it just simulates sitting down at the table with friends, and uh, you just go grab the different things that you like to play. Um, mm -hmm. 
but yeah it's it's a fun game i got a bunch of board games back here and in various mm -hmm. places in the house and unfortunately and especially with well one pandemic and like moving here at the start of oh. the pandemic i'm like yeah that whole like uh grab a big friend circle thing didn't really mm -hmm. happen too quickly so i got a few board games that are just like unopened i'm like oh i really want to yeah. try that one day <laughs> But uh, quickly, yeah, Leo, yeah, Werewolves is super fun. I've also played Mafia and a few different games like that. I'm the patron of a podcast called Rob Has a Podcast, and they play sometimes, so I'll join in with that. Um, but yeah, it's hard. You have to find the right group of people for board games because like, we'll have people come over, and there's those friends who can only maybe handle um, like lighter party games. A, a mean, very or? light, like su Sushi Go, I think, is really good for that. Um, you know, some you'll be partway through the rules and you'll you'll kind of see people. You'll be like, Their okay, maybe this is the game. Over. Yeah, they glaze <laughs> over, they panic. It's like, oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Um, or you can play some lighter games. Um, so let me look up. So I believe his name's Ryan Lockley, who designed Above and Below. Okay, sorry. Tangent again. Really quickly, if any of you like board games, my favorite show, probably of all time, is called Taskmaster. If anyone's in Canada, yeah. it's free on YouTube. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is an absolute masterpiece. Holy shit, I'm obsessed with it. Um, if you're in America, I'm not sure. Maybe it's also on YouTube. But essentially, there is this man named Alex Horn, who if I could be anyone in the world, I would be him. Because his job must be the most fun thing ever. And there's, it's like a panel, a British comedian panel show. Yes, Leo! <laughs> Okay, oh so I have an announcement. I would like to uh, I would like to announce my resignation from streaming. Uh, Tris is just gonna take over the stream from now on uh, because you all adore her. She's lovely. I agree. And uh, yeah, take it away. <laughs> the amount of people that don't want to talk to me about Taskmaster or escape rooms is like all of my friends anymore. <laughs> so this is the greatest <laughs> thing ever. I used to have a really good talent where anytime I met anyone new, no matter their background or what they did, I could turn the conversation into about escape rooms. Uh, <laughs> so, and now I can turn almost any conversation into about Taskmaster. Here, I just could force it in. But yeah. if anyone hasn't seen it and, you know, maybe you have some spare time or maybe you're working remotely and you want to throw something in on the background, an absolute 10 out of 10 um if you're looking to to plan like a bachelor party or a party for someone i have the book and i'm sure you can find it online too oh my gosh yes <laughs> yeah okay so actually um i have one of the books where it has all the tasks written sorry i'm reading and i know i'm supposed to be talking too it's like can we just get everyone chatting but um <laughs> I don't know if escape rooms are common. They're like all over the world. So I'm hoping everybody's been to one or been close to one. And if you went oh, to yeah. one and People it was at least terrible, know it for sure. please give it another chance. Because I think I got really lucky where the first escape room I ever played was incredible. And so, so fun. And so I was immediately hooked. And I went with a big group of engineers and I'm not an engineer. And so I was like a little worried when before we went, I was like, oh man, I'm I'm not gonna be able to like get any of the puzzles and I really wanna make sure I keep up. And I like destroyed it and I was living <laughs> so high. It was like the most adrenaline rush. And then I actually ended up working for that company specifically. And I helped design rooms there for a few years. But it was funny when I started, I was like, you don't even know how obsessed I was with all of you who were then my coworkers. I was like, before I started working there, I was like, wow, I saw you guys at a coffee shop one day and was like, wow. They have the best job ever. It was so <laughs> exciting. That's the kind of person you want, though. You know, you got a passion for it. That's, that's the thing. I think with escape rooms, it's like some get a better, to your point, if people try it and mm -hmm. like, oh, they didn't really like it. It became such a, a, a hot thing for a while, mm -hmm. right? Where it seemed like for a bit, everyone was just like, oh, I've got like a spare storefront or like, you know, room or mm -hmm. whatever. I can charge money and put up some Halloween decorations. Like, no, 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 no. Uh, people like you and the people who have the passion to like design the rooms where it's like, so anyway, we made this like, you know, four room crazy thing where like this panel flips out and then you got to put in this mm. code, which you'll find with this UV. I'm like, damn, I love that stuff. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, the funny part is uh, hosting your beginning speech explaining what people can't do would just get longer and longer and longer until your beginning speech was suddenly like 10 minutes being <laughs> like, hey, if there are tiles attached to the floor, please don't spend your time trying to rip them up. You know, if there are things screwed into the walls, please let them be <laughs> like, please don't rip wires out of the walls. Please don't intentionally break things. Um, so much of it is just like, please don't damage all of the things. And uh, if you want something opened and you're like, wow, uh, I am going to rip this off the wall, just call me and I'll help you and I'll move you to the next step. I'm like, if you don't want to solve the puzzle, I'll leave all the doors open for you if you want. Like, it's fine. You'll break my heart, but it's okay. I'll do it. <laughs> but it was really fun. There was this one team, so uh, a university that was nearby the town. Uh, they would have this, they had like this MBA program that it was, I forget what it was called, but it's an MBA program you could do in a much shorter amount of time because you're rich and could pay a bunch of money for it. Cool. So this yep. group, we had like a partnership with them where they would always bring people to play and it was like the worst group ever. They would literally put like screws in their pockets and like, Oh my gosh. For I'm sorry, for why? <laughs> why? Um, or like screw screwdrivers and, and like tools and they would just take everything apart. Okay. <laughs> I'm so like, I'll just leave the door open for you. Yeah, I'm like their express thing was, you know what? It'd be fun if we went to an escape room, but actually just dismantled it completely. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like really those guys seemed like they maybe just wanted to be in construction then. Or destruction? Yeah. Demolition? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they knew how to use a screwdriver, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you one last uh, escape room story. Okay. So we had a horror room called Coroner's Report. And the beginning of the room, you would split up the team into two people. And then the whole rest of the group that would come in on the other side of the escape room. You right. would lead them down. And then you would handcuff them to wheelchairs. And, you know, there's a carabiner you could unclip if there was an emergency or anything. But hypothetically, they are supposed to find a key to get themselves out. So right. you lock them in, you put a blindfold on them, and then you leave. And we would always have someone hiding in the room right behind them who would come out and just do something to scare them. So I really liked having a little wet paper towel and I would just drip water on them. Like, not a lot, but just like a little bit to be spooky. Yeah. Um... And then one of my friends was telling me about how, because normally the two people that are sitting there, either they were really good friends or a couple, and we found that so often they would reach out to hold hands. Hi, I'm I'm Tris. Oh I'm, no! <laughs> I'm I'm Shay's friend from elementary school, so I'm just telling an escape room story. So we found that people would always try to grab each other's hands and hold them. So when my coworkers said, "Hey, I can jump in there quicker." hold their hands first and they each think it's the other person and then i slowly just move their hands together until they realize that there are way too many hands for the number <laughs> of people that are there and i said oh my god that is the greatest thing i've ever heard i'm so excited to try that and there are these two girls and i was like wow this is gonna be my shining moment i was like shaking i was so excited oh no so i'm hiding <laughs> And I run out and I hold both of their hands and I was like, this is perfect. And then I slowly move all the hands together and I'm like rubbing all of the hands together and they don't say anything at all. And I'm just like trying to make it very clear that there are way too many hands and they just weren't reacting. Like they thought that they were just still holding each other's hands. And, and rubbing them all over with like their <laughs> six know. tentacles or something. I don't or... Know. <laughs> and you have to get out quick because the other team's coming on the other side so then at some point i'm like i'm just holding these girls hands for no reason <laughs> so I, I like just throw them together scream and slam the door and run away but it's the most disappointed i think i've ever been ever <laughs> <laughs> you wanted that to go so well Oh my God, I was so excited to run up and tell everyone about how amazing and fun it was. And they didn't even notice me being spooky. It was the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wanted to have the spookiest tale, but I would just scream in their face and slam the door mainly after that or drip a little, a little water. Right. But yeah, the, the classics, 
you you should have repeated your experiment a few times maybe maybe those girls were just used to like weird cthulhu multi-handed beings yeah but then you're also just kind of holding other people's hands which this was quite a few years ago so it was like i guess less questionable um like because there wasn't covid but I don't know. At some point, you're just holding other people's hands, wondering what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most connection I've had in six years. You're like, wow, this feels incredible. I'm not letting go. <laughs> I wouldn't have been nearly as put a story if things had gone to plan. Oh, that's true. You got a good story out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some people would, I don't know, it's just like a lot of yelling and like shaking stuff up around. Uh, some people would have really, really good reactions. Every once in a while, people would pull down, uh, pull down like their blindfold and then just stare at you. And that was super awkward. <laughs> you're like, oh, don't mind me. <laughs> just leaving. I'm just, you know, but, the staff that you paid to have a nice yeah. experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I... I I am excited for that. Like uh, in the new year, we'll find a, a day to uh, like when I'm down, yeah. we'll do do an escape room or vice versa. If you happen to visit, yeah. you can all go. Yeah, yeah, that'd be super fun. Where you live, uh, I don't know if anybody knows, but it's like bilingual. So uh, as long yeah, as they, they, they know I'm in Montreal. Version. Oh, OK, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Hey, Aaron. No, no, we're, I, I think Tris is, uh, just about downloaded. Yeah, I think it's downloaded now. Okay, sweet. So if you launch it, it'll probably have you link your account. I assume. Okay. I don't know how it would know otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it says performing first time setup. So hopefully that's quick. Right. Yeah, she ended up getting it through Steam because, yeah, it was given trouble on the non-Steam version, just like mine was, so... Well, every every time I would click on it, it would just say that the server was full and to try again later. Oh, what kind of tattoo do you want to get? Yeah, Skinner actually uh, lives in Ontario. Mm. I just, uh, Skinner is a little bit newer to the community and just like came in and just, I, I collect Canadians like Pokemon, it would seem. So <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Who is literally been watching me from like day one, like four years ago when I started streaming also lives in Ontario. Oh, very fun. How do people find you? I don't know. How do you folks find me? <laughs> yeah, how did you find him day one? You were just like good Canadian well, vibes from okay. this corner. So I I should say yes because he just said through Snake. So I've got a buddy uh, named Snake. Mm. It's not his actual name, but we all call yeah. him Snake because of the Metal Gear Solid games. He sounds very much like oh, either Snake. I was gonna say because he's betrayed you multiple times. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. People people when they hear his voice, they either know Metal Gear Solid and they're like, wow, that's uncanny, or they think he's mm. Batman. They're like, are you doing a Batman? man impression dude like he has a really deep gravelly voice but uh we have been friends for years and years and years um and we actually stream together on wednesday nights uh we'll do like co-op games or group games stuff like that mm. so he he's got a he's been doing it longer he's got a much bigger community and uh i would play with him on his streams much like you're doing with me now and so then when mm. I started, some people already knew that I existed. Nice. Should I link my RuneScape account or create a new account? Uh, you can link it because it's like that'll because if you create your new account, it'll have you put in another mm. email and stuff, right? So just link it right. to the one you already created. Mm hmm. And then it should just let you, like, when you launch it through Steam, you won't have to enter in your password all the time either. You just launch it, hit log in, and it'll go. Yeah, the people who didn't find me through Snake, I couldn't really say how they how they kind of wandered in. They would almost, they would individually have to tell me, like, oh, I just happened to be 
looking at streamers playing this game and saw you or mm -hmm. or like that it's usually how it goes now now i've got a youtube channel which doesn't really push people to twitch like i don't really mention that i'm that i i do live stuff on twitch it's more like dnd focused for mm -hmm. youtube but yeah uh we are starting with free to play neither one of us has paid for a membership uh I, you know, if we play more and more and more, maybe at some point that's because uh, I think it worked the same way back way back when when we played. Right. Where it was like, oh, yeah, you have you have all I'm these skills. Sure it, was it was free. Yeah. But they, but it's like you have all these skills and you have like 20 percent of the world to explore. But if you want to give us some money, we'll unlock all the skills and the rest of the world and quests, which like way back when, when we were like young in elementary school, it was kind of like. This world is already massive, though, for free, right? So, who knows? We'll yeah. see. We're just going to play free, and we'll see how it goes. Buffed up free-to-play. There's a pretty damn solid experience now. That's good. Yeah, I've had a big sweep of XCOM, Monty, for sure. People have uh, come and joined the community from that, which was good. But I think also just people, like I said, some, sometimes they just wander in. Like, Copy, you didn't come from Snake, right? You just kind of like... You just kind of... Saw me from a game or something, right? Like, you just kind of wandered in off the street, right? <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think it didn't let me finish making an account because it thought I was a robot. Oh, really? Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> Wait, RuneScape or? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay. Just had to make, I'll just make a, a new RuneScape one. account, a Discord account, a oh my Steam God. account, and a Stream Twitch account. Buddy! She had to make four <laughs> accounts to get this all rocking, so... Oh, through Snake's YouTube channel before he started uploading VODs? Really? Oh my gosh. So, I, it says, which would you like to play? Fresh Start Worlds event or the standard game? Standard game, right? Standard, yeah. The Fresh Start yeah. thing, I honestly think, is for more veterans of the game where they've just been playing for so long and they're like, you know what? I want to start over, but I also want... I think mm -hmm. it's some event they're running where it's like they'll give you a bunch of XP boosts and stuff and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just do the Standard. Okay. And I'm going to launch RuneScape. I'm going to go to the Game tab. Whoop! So difficulty, we're doing standard. Yeah. I certainly could not do more than that. <laughs> and I'm going to get rid of that. Did I just not have my headset on when I've been playing that? I don't remember this music, but anyway. Oh, a new quest has this music. Okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure when I launched RuneScape last week to make sure this would be good, it, it there was no vocals. There was no singing like this. So yeah, you'll need to make a character and you'll also have to do yeah. a little tutorial. Okay, what are you going to do while... I I do the tutorial. Uh, chat, hang out, uh, open up my... There's like a little advent calendar thing that you get right now. Oh. Uh, let's see. Free servers. Can I pick my server? I want to jump into this thing that says it's a role-playing server. How do I select world 41? I want this world. Play now. Joining World 41. Okay, I did it. Aaron says not to pick the RP server, but I'm doing it anyway. 
yeah, you you cannot you guys can absolutely um you know join the game and stuff like that. I, I was just asking yes. Yeah, when I when I mentioned it before, all I was saying was if we're like going to a goblin forest or something, don't like run off ahead, kill every single goblin in the forest and then run off giggling. Like a like <laughs> just don't troll and you're fine. <laughs> Just don't um, murder me and it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I see what they're saying. They're saying that the role-playing world, it literally has a thing that says, this is a role-playing world. If you'd prefer not to, please use a different world. So it's saying, mm -hmm. like, if we're not ready to get in character right from the start. So, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll pick a different one then. Um, let's see. There has... Last time I played... There have been twice in my life where I started a D&D &D campaign uh, okay. with like some friends and then there was someone there who was like brand new and I had never met them before. And like our characters were kind of against each other the first day. And I like slapped the spell out of someone's memory. And then afterwards he was like, oh, like it was so fun, but like Megan seems kind of like a lot. Like, I don't think she likes me. And I was like, wait, that was my character. <laughs> I was like, you don't know me. <laughs> I was like, I've never slapped the spell into someone's memory before. P pulling the classic, it's what my character would do. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Why, why are people, why are people already following me? Oh, I see. <laughs> hey, Mal. Okay, so I'm going to go and I guess hop worlds to a non roleplay server. Uh, I don't know which one I should pick. I guess I'll pick... Can I just pick Canada? That would be cool. Let's go to Canada. Let's pick that one. Oh. World 43. Okay, I'm doing the tutorial, so I can't see the chat or anything. That's fine, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, I have a problem. I, I have no idea who Marcelo is. I'm assuming it's somebody from within the community. I absolutely know who Hi, I'm Leo RuneScape is. That's fairly obvious. I love how this also brings people out of the woodwork. Like, like people never mentioned their RuneScape or playing or anything like that. And then we get onto it. And someone who's level 126 and 74, respectively, just run Oof. in here. <laughs> is that Leo? What level is he? Leo is level three. He created a new okay. account. Um, but Repuplums in the chat is... Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to destroy us all. Yeah, Grim Desalind who has a mask and some what appears to be some sort of glowing staff that's shitting out mist. Uh, he has uh, wings made of uh, old tree bark with a bunch of flies flying around and some sort of fox tail. Anyway, he's level 74. Wow. <laughs> and then Marcelo, one of many, is a level 126, and I have no idea who that is. No idea. But I'm sitting here, probably level two or... Oh, it's Aaron. Okay. It, I'm sitting here, probably level two or three. And my quest is like, go talk to Teriel. He's the beginner, dude. So I, I'm just going to wait for you here. Look, they're here for the lulls. Yeah. I do have a bit of a problem in that I... I opened the daily like advent calendar christmas thing and now i have a mm. bunch of crap in my inventory that i can't put in my bank or anything and because when i try to it's like oh you can't and i'm like so do i use these items because they're just chilling in my inventory and i don't know what they'd be good for <laughs> like i've got these lamps and fallen stars and it gives skills but I'm the kind of person where I'm like, but what's the best skill to put this into? Because I don't just want to put it into, like, fishing if that's really easy to level up. Yeah, I mainly want, like, a fun animal companion. Okay. Is If that's a thing you can get. Probably. I, I think there's a hunter skill, but I, that might be a member-only skill for now. There's, like, summoning as well. Uh, Oh, hunter. Yeah. 
It said you catch some raw shrimp. Yes. Like good I was job. gonna catch cook shrimp. <laughs> yes. Cook that shrimp. Oh, somebody just turned into a dolphin, I think, in front of me. That's cool. Wow. Oh no wait, it's it's sail sail the shark. There's not to like derail aggressively, but uh, apparently there's a documentary. I have not seen it about some dude that gets with a dolphin and it's oh, very confusing. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so weird. I've Who? never seen it, but I have a lot of questions. Yeah. Well, Mainly we've got why. that book in Canada about that lady who gets with that bear. That's, that's also a thing. I have not heard of that one. <laughs> I feel like a bear would be worse. <laughs> there is. I don't know. There, yeah, there is a Canadian book, and it's about a woman who has like a sensual experience with a bear, and it's How like is that possible. Uh, yeah, is she just like super it, into pain, and she's like, "Oh, it bit me, so therefore it was a sexual experience." Like everyone turned it into this meme thing, but I, I, I think that like I don't think the author wrote it is, as a is joke. Is she okay? Yeah, like I don't think she wrote it as a joke. It was actually about like. Yeah, it's sexuality and like spirituality and and bears and I don't know, man. Maybe it was a dream. Man. Maybe it was a dream. <laughs> okay, so what what do I have? Let's see. I I went and I oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I open my? Is it B for backpack? Hold on. Wait, let me. I gotta close all this. Okay, yeah, it is B for backpack. That makes me happy. Um. And how do I open what my character's wearing? W for Why? worn. Did you, did you no. pick a bad outfit? No, no. I just, I, cause I, I spent a little bit of extra time mining tin and what is it? Copper or whatever? Iron? What do you I don't, mean whatever extra time? Um, it was like mine two of each. And I was like, but, but the, this says I can make a cool hat and some armor, but I need more than two game. And the tutorial was yeah. like, no, no, mine two and move on. And I was like, oh, you mean mine 24 each? Okay. So I did that. <laughs> I was hoping you were you were gonna say that that's what you did when the server thought I was a robot for probably an hour. Oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, you just being the most productive. <laughs> I have on a uh, bronze chain body, plate legs, uh, some armored boots, gauntlets, but for my weapons, I chose two claws. I've got a claw on each hand and I'm just like gonna rip people apart with my claws, I guess. Yo, that one woman would be super into it. <laughs> the bear woman. She'd be oh, like, yeah. hells yeah. She'd love it. Yeah. See, it's it's probably not optimal because they both do slashing damage. And I imagine in this game, it's like, no, no. Some creatures take like damage for to bludgeoning and others to slashing or whatever. I'm like, yeah, but like two claws though. Come on. It's fucking rad. You just want to be Wolverine. Yeah, that's right. I want to be X-23. I want to be. Uh, oh, here here's my tangent. I often mm. play uh, women in games. Uh, they're just more capable <laughs> and badass looking. <laughs> nice. So I got my little, wait, are my gloves over top my clawed hands? Does it look like are I have Are you realizing fucking... that you don't have claws and you just have fun mitts that kind of it, look like claws? It just look like fucking, yeah, they just look like mittens. Like I'm wearing like, like winter mittens. <laughs> You're like, wow, guys, I have these amazing weapons right at my fingertips. And then they're just mitts. <laughs> they're just mittens. Yeah. Hey, dark steel. But yeah, so my inventory has all this stuff that I guess I need to use. I, I... I, if I recall from the old days, and I don't know if it's still the same, but like the tutorial didn't really give you much about magic. And there's like these runes that you need in order to cast magic, right? Now, oh, there it is. Rune crafting is the skill. So there's these runes you have to do magic. And as I remember, leveling that sucked. Is that still a thing? Does it suck to level up rune crafting compared to like combat and cooking and stuff? It's a lot better now, but yes, uh, they added rune span. What what would be what would be a good skill to use as a level one nobody 
like to use this lamp on and should i be worried about these lamps and stuff is it like oh you should keep those for now or can i just use them because i'll get more Like, really, what should I be using this nonsense on? Oh, they scale with level? That sucks. But I can't put them in my bank. This game cheated me. <laughs> okay, I'm depositing these. What about this Christmas wrapping paper? Okay, I can deposit that. I can't deposit any of these stars, like, at all. Okay. What's the difference between a bubbling lamp and a smoldering lamp? And a prismatic lamp. <laughs> What's the difference? So bonus XP is like what? Like you get more of it as you level it sort of thing. Like, if I have bonus XP and then I start cutting down trees, the, the thing levels up faster, I, I would think. Okay. I imagine at this point, Triss is learning how to make bread. Uh, I cook some shrimp. I burned oh. some of them, but I cooked some of them. Okay, and I that's just cool. got to the chef. Okay, Isn't great. It? He's going to teach like, you wow, how to make bread. <laughs> Talk to Master Chef. I'm going to cut down these Christmas trees while I'm waiting for you. I'm going to grinch it up up in here. Fuck this tree in particular. There was a Christmas tree farm like just down the street from me, and it was like 50 bucks any tree. I think okay. I walked around for like two hours trying to find the perfect tree and all of them had like something wrong with it. But I was like, but the price is so good. <laughs> like all the <laughs> other Christmas why. tree places. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you just turned like the bottom part just towards the window so you can't see it. Right. Hey, Owl. Yeah, we're doing we're doing well. This is our first foray back into RuneScape for like years, at least a decade. It's rough when it's actually more than a decade. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> my mom is phoning. I? I won't pick oh. up. Fun fact, my mom was Shay's teacher in elementary school. Yes, she was. How do I... How do I see... Hmm. Whatever. I'm gonna just keep chopping down these trees. All right, I got a skill level. Are you gonna, I'm gonna show up and you're gonna be way higher. No, I shouldn't. I just cut down some trees. Like my, my cutting down trees skill might be one or two levels higher, but like that shouldn't really matter. Oh, I can kill rabbits. Uh, I don't think I'll do that. Can you befriend them? Um, I can walk here, examine them, or attack them. Let me examine one. A cute bunny rabbit. God, this tree's taking eight years to cut down. What's happening with this? Oh, apparently you can raise rabbits in this game, but these ones I think are only for hunting. Why isn't this tree falling over? Is there a progress bar or is it just random? Based on my skill, I guess? All right, this tree is impenetrable. I can't cut down this tree. I'm angry about it. I'm gonna hunt this rabbit. Oh, I killed it. That rabbit is dead. Oh, no. I have a raw rabbit now.
I'm sure you can I'm make like, a stew or something. What's that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, there's a new necromancy skill. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, gosh. Aaron. Did you? Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Me waiting like Aaron's about to speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, Aaron, I'm sorry. Did you say that... Uh, if it, it's a members only skill, but if you kill enough rabbits, one of them hops in your pocket and you can raise it. So you murder really? generations of rabbits and one of them's like, oh yeah, I want to get out of this rabbit lifestyle. I'm all about that killer and hops in your pocket. <laughs> That's... That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably use some of these things. The, uh, why? Oh my goodness. Rabbit redemption arc story. Yeah, I want to free up. Sorry, I don't think I saw anyone e either answer or perhaps I just didn't see it. All of the like stars and lamps and stuff. Should I hold on to these because they scale? Or is it like, no, you'll want the inventory slots and like you'll get more anyway. So who cares? Might as well use them. Hmm. Okay. Should I use them all on the same skill? And also, what skill would you all vote for? Oh, see, farming is members only, so I can't even I can't even use it on that, I don't think. What? Does bonus XP not work? I vote for cooking because I don't know any better. Coffee's like, I love cooking. Construction, since it's an expensive skill, but isn't construction... Isn't construction members only? Yeah. And you should be able to use it even though it's members only? Oh, okay. Is construction like a pain in the butt? Oh, but you can decorate stuff. That's cool. Construction sucks 10,000%. All right, everyone's voting construction. Let me see if I can use it on this. Uh, where the heck is it? There it is, construction. Ha ha! My construction is level two, even though I'm not a member. It's pretty useless in RuneScape 3? Oh. So I should level up construction with these lamps because even though it's pretty useless, it's used for some quests and... Wait, what's the difference between using and rubbing a bubbling lamp? I'm gonna... <laughs> Fuck, man. Choose an XP type. Oh, reg regular XP? I'm going to use regular XP.
right? Sorry, so why didn't bonus XP work for me if I'm not a member? Is that just a members only thing? Like bonus XP doesn't exist if you're a freebie? Does it get banked and activate if I become a member or does me using these stars just do legit nothing at all? Oh, it does get banked. I see. All right. You have reached the maximum level for the skill in the free game. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't do anything with construction. <laughs> What's the next skill that I should use this on other than construction then? Summoning? Oh, is that a, a pain in the butt, too? Where's that? Divination. Hunter. Summoning. There it is. I'm gonna, should I, should I use all my stars and get a bunch of bonus XP in summoning then? Oh, wait. I can't do that either. What comes after summoning, everyone? What skill comes after summoning that I should do? I don't know. Roshek. Skill level 1069. Holy crap. Who is that? Dungeoneering or... That's you, Repoplums? Oh my god. Repoplums, please. <laughs> Dungeoneering or divination. Okay. Dungeoneering. Well, it's the it's the highest I've seen so far. Okay. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, Aaron. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Okay, there. I've got all my uh, stuff back. You wish to trade with me? I I'm probably not going to trade, but... Howdy, stranger. Wh no. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, I see the stick. Just probably mining for ore now. No, I just uh, finished praying. Oh, you did. Okay, sweet. Shouldn't and be I'm too much to longer. The magic then. instructor. Yeah, I think that's the last one before it dumps you into the game. And then we'll have to hop. Like we'll have to be on the same world. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it, if it shows me. Does it show me what world I'm on somewhere here on the map? And on 43. Okay, but where do I see that if I wanted to know that? Escape then hop worlds. Okay, gotcha. Hello, foolish. Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, Owl. And thank you for uh, some of the tips, Owl. On some of the uh, pain in the butt skills. All right. Uh, I'm going to light a bunch of fires in the town square. So, you know, I hope the guards are fine with that. Wait, no, I want to I want to walk this way game. Let me. OK, I'm just going to run and grab some more water and then I'll try to figure out what world you're in. Sounds good. I'm apparently in world 43. So if you hop to that one, okay. it should be. Yeah. See you in a sec. OK, I'll be in a few minutes. Cook use on the logs and then a fire. Another fun tip. You can right click on the world icon in the lower right. Oh, okay. There's the world icon. Hero, powers, community. Familiar. I'm sorry. Did that just say I burned my hand? Oh, on the mini map. Oh, is this me using up my logs as I, oh, I see. And this gives me like skill as I, as I do it. Ah. Neat. Your fire making's a bit low. You don't say. <laughs> I'm gonna cook this rabbit on the fire. God, I got a cooked rabbit. Look at me go. Okay, let's, uh... The rabbit trying to attack me. I guess I should loot all these. Huh? Oh, there we go. Okay. These are like infinite rabbits. They just keep coming. <laughs> this definitely beats the, what was it? Goblins? I think was one of the first enemies you encountered in the old one. I definitely feel like much more of a, a force to be reckoned with cleaving through hordes of rabbits. <laughs> oh no, my fire, it ran out. Okay, I don't care. I still want to eat the rabbit. It won't let me eat it. Whatever, I'll drop it on the ground then. I mean... I think it's helping my combat level, Aaron. All right. 
Hey, hey. Hello. So it, I finished the tutorial, I think, and it okay. put me in a world. How do yeah. I know if it's your world? Because I went up to someone and it said, what do you seek? Adventure, something to kill, fortune and glory. Uh, so is that the actual game or am I still in the tutorial? I believe you're in the game now. So I would go to top right at your mini map and mm -hmm. on the mini map, bottom right of the little mini map there, it's, there should be a little globe icon. If you click that, mm -hmm. you can, you can, uh, oh my gosh, that's the world map. Okay. Right click that. Sorry. Don't just click it. Mm -hmm. And then open world select. And you're looking for world 43 location, Canada. You kill a thousand rabbits, you'll be strong enough to kill a dragon. It's like making a thousand daggers in Skyrim. <laughs> do I do open world select? Yes. Or world map? Uh, open world select. Okay. And then, yeah, pick uh, 43. Okay, I, I burned 10 of those rabbits, but it's everything's fine. It's okay. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hello. Hi, one second. It is I. Wait, can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I'm I'm the person standing in front of you, not the chef hat wearing person. I'm I'm the mm. the warrior with bronze armor literally standing right in front of you. There we go. Where to? Uh well, I don't know. This guy is the first quest thing, I guess. Talk to Turiel northwest of the Burthorpe Lodestone. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello, and what are you after then? Oh, this was the... Yeah. Okay, what do, what do we seek? Adventure, something to kill, or fortune and glory? One or three. Because you've already been murdering all the rabbits. That's true. You've accomplished two. <laughs> no, he's like, hey, what are you seeking? Something to kill? I'm like, no, no, it's fine. I already murdered like, all the rabbits over yonder. <laughs> There's a little girl crying over there, but I did it. All right, let's, uh, let's see. We want to go on an adventure. Okay. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm a Slayer Master. I train adventurers to seek out and defeat specific monsters. Okay. Orthorpe is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Are you eager to battle monsters for fun, heroism, and profit? Then Slayer yes. is the skill for you. Trolls? You should prepare before risking your life in combat. This is the last adventure. He fought the trolls without armor or food. Don't be him. Okay. All right. Nearest fishing spot is the lake to the south of us. Go catch and cook yourself plenty of crayfish. Okay. There's a mine southwest, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's cool. Wait, where did you go? I was following the dotted path. Oh, you're gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 come here, come here. I'm like right down the road a little bit. Right. Are we killing these livestock or we decided not to murder? Oh, we can murder whatever we want. That's cool. But wait, I'm... I mean, they're just like right there. Oh, there you are. Also, is there a way to uh, there must be a friends list. There must be a way to like put each other or like party up or whatever. There's got to be. How does one did you just turn into a sheep? What the f 
fuck? Oh, okay. No, no you're I'm shearing just, them. I'm shearing. I'm okay. just shearing them. <laughs> Can I milk a cow? Uh, you can attack a cow. I remember attacking cows for their leather in the previous. Oh, that's, ooh, sorry. Fuck up sorry, these cow. Cows. Your enemy drops coins. As die if the cow was my enemy. Die. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. Yep. There's the cowhide and the bones and such. All right. Let me loot that. Okay. So, how do I. It's the symbol of two people in the bottom right. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Community. No, I don't want to do that. How do I social? Friends list. Here we go. Friends list. How do Add I social? Friend. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Triss8989? Yeah. Triss and Triss89 was taken. I think I, it says you're offline, but I don't, I don't, I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I'm here. I'm going to go cut down this tree. Oh, she has to add you back first. Okay, so you're going to have to get bottom right. You're going to have to click on the, the two people heads. And then the tab at the top that says social. Okay. And somehow accept the friend request. I mean, so My far, it's just been swiping zero. at people, Arcana. Yeah, I don't know how you see the... How do you see the incoming yeah. friend request? Oh, oh, you just add each other. No friend requests. Okay, so you have to add me. Okay, how do I add you? Uh, in the social tab on the friends list that's blank, down at the bottom left, there's a little plus. There's a little green man with a plus. Okay, yeah. The Claude click. Chan list or friend list? Friend list here. Yeah, friend list. So click on okay, the plus. Okay, what's your name again? Shayandra. S-H-A-E-A-N-D-R-A. -A -A. There we nice. go. Okay. Perfect. So is there a way to be like partied up or is it just like you're on my friends list so I can see that you're green on the mini map, I guess? Afternoon, Shay. Pretty voice in chat. Hi, Nat. <laughs> That's Triss. No party system. Hey. Okay. Okay. So I've I'm actually gonna... been told that my voice is like very unappealing. Wow. What and an then they asshole. were like, but... <laughs> no, it was like a friend from like some <laughs> high school job. It wasn't okay. a big deal. <laughs> I'm not like scarred from it, but they were like, yeah, but yeah. when I listened to what you were saying, I didn't mind it so much. And I was like, oh, okay, good. Yeah, I worked um, as a lifeguard at Canada's Wonderland. So, you know, it was pretty exciting stuff. Hell yeah. Okay, do this. Do this out of fire. Hmm? I have so many logs. Yeah. Okay, we gotta, we gotta catch crayfish at the lake south of Blorp Blorp. Oh, there they are. God, yeah, I, re I remember so much of this game was just like, whack trees, whack rocks, whack fish. <laughs> yeah, my, my bag is full. It's just full of logs. I'm just gonna start a bunch of fires or can I only do one at a time? Uh, you can do multiple, but the people showed me that you can also click on logs in your inventory and use them with the single fire you make and you'll make like a bigger bonfire mm. which gives you more max HP and just like uses the logs on a single fire and gives you a bunch of XP. Nice. Just gonna uh, make a giant fire. Hell yeah. I always follow people with nice voices. Even Shays is nice. Like it's loud but calming. Well, thanks, Monty. <laughs> yeah, do you guys listen to like sleep casts or anything? Because I have, um, like, headspace, but there's only, like, one person's voice that I like, so I just listen to Rain Day and Teeks all the time. How are you... This is, this is so wild to me. That, that, like, 
you are so turned in, tuned in to like pop culture and current events and everything like that. That's, whereas it's I'm not pop culture. Or, well, I don't know what the hell it's called. Unless you're not talking to me. <laughs> Listen, content. Then you're so tuned into content, whereas I am mostly not. Uh, but yet you're like, wait, what the fuck is a Steam account? Like all this stuff. And then I'm the polar opposite, where I watch you just a lot said, of YouTubers. No, I, I know, but that's YouTubers. what I, right, but that's what I'm saying. I, I got all this tech and gear and stuff, and I know all these softwares, and I know how to fix it all too. But then you just spat out a bunch of. I was like, well, those certainly weren't names of people. <laughs> no, it was. It's just an app. It, um, oh, okay. It'll just like read you a mundane story that you can fall asleep to, so you have oh, like, something to focus on if your mind's like really wandering. Right. But I grew up um, listening to like the Harry Potter audiobooks with Jim Dale. And yeah. his voice is just like incredible. And so now I don't listen to audiobooks too often, but if I ever do, I want it to be like the oldest British man you can find. And if it's not, I'm not interested in listening to it. <laughs> That's okay. like my ideal voice. Hey, Darius. The auto burning speed's a bit slow. I see, I see. So, oh wait, I didn't catch enough crayfish because because uh, I didn't have room because of all these murdered rabbits. Okay, here I go. Yeah, I also watch way too many like British panel shows, so that might also be part of the problem. Oh, do you like uh, eight out of 10 cats? Yes. Oh my God. I tried I to find it. the I tried to find that uh, teapot that you win. And it's like very expensive and hard to find online, but I wanted it really badly. And I was like, <laughs> am I willing to spend hundreds of dollars on a teapot? Oh, my answer, fire like, went out. Maybe. Maybe? You're still thinking about <laughs> maybe. it. Maybe. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be able to get onto one of the shows to compete. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you weren't here earlier when we were talking about Taskmaster, but it is by far my favorite show. I have the book. Alex Horn is like my dream human. If I could be anyone in the world, it would be him. <laughs> he has like the greatest job of all time. Are we cooking crayfish? I yeah, I cooked I cooked a bunch of crayfish. Okay, I caught a bunch. But now it wants me to, I guess I didn't do it in the right order because it's like light logs to make a fire. I'm like, but I did that. Okay, sorry. James A. Caster is like my favorite comedian. I love him so much. The Cabbage Story, I watch it probably once a month just to bring me a little bit of joy to my life. <laughs> like, okay, if you haven't w watched anything with James A. Caster, he also has a really good Netflix special. He's just incredible. Okay, I'll give it a go. You're like being too mild about that. Like you're about to have so much joy in your life. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, I could maybe be the happiest I've ever been ever. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like that, is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, the quest didn't like me. I have to drop all of these stupid crayfish so I can catch. I, I did it too quickly. You oh my god, Bubbles on your game myself, 1999. Catherine Ryan is Canadian. She's from Sarnia. I also like her. I like pretty much anyone on Taskmaster, to be honest. I'm so distracted. I'm like, maybe I'll cook a crawfish. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, a, RuneScape goes a lot better when you are, like, socializing and stuff like that. <laughs> mm. And not just mindlessly murdering cows. Oh my gosh, yeah. There's so many people I love. Yeah, most of who I follow on Instagram is just British comedians now, so it's just a delight. The most recent season, I'm not done it but I'm partway through it. I 
found Pokemon was good for doing other stuff because I've just been trying to hatch eggs and just like zoom all over the place. Yeah. And also a lot of the shows I watch, you don't fully have to pay attention. Like I also watch uh, The Challenge and Survivor and a bunch of random shows like that. Like I love like a competition show, which I guess all the other ones we listed are also competition shows. <laughs> I can I can see you as a contestant on the Amazing Race or something like that. Oh my that. gosh, that'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> my dad uh, designed some of the challenges for the Amazing Race Canada. Oh yeah, I think he might have mentioned that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, he didn't like design them; he just built them. He's um, he's a stunt rigger, and so I want to be a designer, which like you would think are similar, but they're not as similar. Because like if I had an in there. I would definitely just do that. I'm just standing in a fire. I guess it doesn't hurt you. <laughs> I guess not. Someone's I'm like, what are bank... we even doing? Someone's telling me to bank my inventory, and I'm like, can I just do that? How do I? Oh, they just meant, like, walk physically up to the bank. <laughs> Did you put crayfish on the ground? Because I just looted a ton of I them. I believe I put some on the ground, yes. My inventory was full. I'm going to go to the bank up the road, and I'm going to then go into the mines and mine some stuff. So you're abandoning me. I mean... I'll just keep cooking I... crayfish. Are you? <laughs> I'm depositing these rabbits. crayfish at the lake south. And I feel like I have so many crayfish, but I guess if I looted, that's not the same as catching. Yeah, it's a zero you might out have of done 12. it in the wrong order, like wrong, quote unquote. It like doesn't progress if you like, if it's like catch crayfish and you light a bunch of fires, it'll tell you to light a fire later. Oh, fuck. Let's eat some it's crayfish. fine. It won't even let me do that. I'll just ditch it on the ground. <laughs> Take it easy, Monty. Uh, have fun at D&D. Bye, Monty. Oh no, my stream's doing the incident. My stream sometimes just decides that it's had enough with life and like, honestly, I get it. <laughs> I am catching crayfish. Okay. And now it's actually finally counting. Registering it, yeah. Yeah. Before I feel like I've caught a bunch. <laughs> All right, my mining leveled up. That's cool. I feel like I've caught so many crayfish and it's like, you have two of 12. <laughs> it's like, excuse me. Okay. I know I do, Aaron. It's just, why not? You know? It's fine. And I gotta... I'm gonna be like the longest person to ever do this small task. They were like, oh, just go catch a couple fish. <laughs> nah, you're fine.
heat and smith a bronze helmet, a forge. And I already did that. I did that in the tutorial island. I'm getting ahead of the game. Oh, whoops. I forgot to heat it. <laughs> I didn't. That's going a lot better now. Who's getting their ass kicked by a chicken? Oh, it's Leo. Leo's almost dead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Leo's getting absolutely ruined by that chicken. Wait, where did you go? Hey, I'm in the mine. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, why do I have scripts for a bronze bar instead of actually a bronze bar? How dare you, game? I don't want no IOUs. I already did this game. And I'm smithing. I'll be smithing out here while I, uh, while I wait. Now my whole backpack is just crayfish. So <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> yeah, people from the community chime in if you're, like, online or whatever. You're the chef, Aaron. Yep, yeah. Yeah, poor Aaron earlier was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 like, I'm sorry. I think some of these folks probably, uh, you know, enjoy just like observing and being like, ah, newbies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. How do I sell some of this stuff to people? Wait, is there a merchant? Does this lady, Linza, want my garbage armor? Oh, she said, sorry, I don't need your help right now. Oh, that sucks. I thought you were gonna say she doesn't want your garbage armor. <laughs> That's what I did say. She didn't want. The grand exchange. Isn't that players? Also, where is that? Northeast of Varric. I, yeah, I don't know where that is. All right, I'll just put it in the bank. Screw it. I thought I thought I'd be able to sell my items to like normal NPCs though, but I guess not, huh? Backpack currently unavailable. Oh yes, right. I gotta. That's fine. I don't. I need. I, I don't I need, need to, to go smelt. there yet. Yeah. Entirely economy driven by players. Okay, gotcha. So you always got to sell your crap armor to some crap ass player. <laughs> I understand. Are you outside smelting? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are. How do I know what level I am? Like I can see Triss is skill 53. How do I see my own skill? I found high. I know it can't possibly be. I believe, oh, I think I see it. I think I'm 79. It's your total skill. It's it's the combined of everything you have, I think. And then there's your combat level, which is different. It's like how, how much of a bad enough dude you are <laughs> with fighting things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase that by murdering these rabbits, will you?
I wish I could just auto attack everything around me over and over. Oh, you can do that in Pokemon. If we're going to continue the you must get Pokemon chat. <laughs> you can oh, do that. you like auto attacking Shay? Well, in Pokemon. <laughs> Wow, that seemed like a critical hit. Oh, I stunned. I think I backhanded that rabbit to death. <laughs> loop, loop, loop. Okay, now I'm shearing sheep like you did before. This is a slightly less monstrous thing to do with my time. I feel like I've clicked on it so many times. <laughs> my goodness, these sheep are clearly oh. mutants. They seem to get... Their, Bless you. All their wool. Hmm? Someone just helping me out. And I did it. making balls of wool. <laughs> hey, did you make a full suit of armor or did you go fight trolls? I, I made a full suit of armor in the tutorial before any of this. Uh, so you can make a full suit if you'd like. Do and I then we can it? go... I mean, it's probably, you'll probably take less damage. Uh, I just feel like it's going to take so long. It didn't take terribly long if you, yeah, you just like mine okay. half and half of each. I would say maybe go get 12 of each to put in 12 bars. It's probably going to take like 20 bars or more to make a full thing of everything. Because I think chest plate's five. Boots and gloves are one. That's seven. Legs might be three. So that's ten. Uh, okay, and you then, need both legs. But yeah. <laughs> and then an armor and stuff like that. So yeah. I would say maybe like 15 bars of copper should probably do it. Food, food, food. Oh, yeah, I have this bread. Let's get that bread. <laughs> I reserve meat. The mine, like, didn't load at first, so I was just staring at, like, a flat piece of paper for a screen. <laughs> you 
is there a way to show people what your combat level versus what your skill level is like oddly when i click on leo it shows me what i assume is his combat level but when i clicked on tris it showed me her skill level so i don't know why oh yeah how do you how do you like pick what to be shown Yeah, it feels like this game is probably a combo of like it's active when you're in combat and when you're doing quests and stuff. But then when you're skilling, it's like it's like one of those uh, like idle games where you can just like chat and stuff like or do other stuff as it's uh, like when you're like mining and stuff. Weapon sheathing, unsheathing. Oh, okay. This game's stream content is bossing and quests, mostly high level bossing. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Eh, well, we hang out and have fun anyway, regardless, so doesn't doesn't really matter. Oh. Triss getting some more copper. Yeah, I made a little box so I can hold more. Oh, yeah, yeah. The the bronze ore box, yeah. Mm-hmm. Literally, as I said, you were coming to get copper. I heard sirens outside. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I got some sedimentary geode. How much does my... How much does my box hold? Hey, Skrixie! Yeah, it can be cracked over reward. Next to a summoning icon, there's a minimize when you most over. Right clicked on sheaths. Where, where's the summoning icon? Yeah, I'm playing with a friend, friend Skrixie. It's uh, it's good. It's going good. It was uh, an interesting start. <laughs> no, no, it's completely fine. Just having a crisis might be a robot. <laughs> the blue wolf on my left side. Uh... Oh. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, I have abilities. I can sever and dismember things. That's cool. Oh, I don't think I can smash, though, because my... I don't think I have a smashing weapon. Hey, Wembley. And I mine faster? Is that an option? <laughs> I think you have to I think you have to put in your your full day's work. The hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh whoops, I can just go smack this one and get a free bonk. Oh, I think I remember things like that, Aaron. Like where you like prime each of the rocks or something. I think I, I think that was a thing you could do in the old style. Maybe it's something you can do here. Hi, your rock is glowing. Thank you. Get the heck here. Do you remember the book Holes? This is what I feel yes. like. In a desert, <laughs> digging holes. Okay, I've got 
almost 25 of each. I'm sure this would be good for whatever. 25? I feel like I've been here longer than you. Yeah, but when you were out, like, crayfishing it up, I was mining as well. Mm. Crayfishing for days. You also used some of yours to make the bronze ore box, so that's, that's yeah. true, too. Okay. I'm going to go out and make bars. Okay. Oh, you unlock mining stamina? Okay. <laughs> There's so much. So what other uh, days do you do on Twitch? You guys watch movies, right? So for streaming, I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is with my friend and it's later. Well, a bit later. Uh, and Monday and Tuesday, I do three till seven. Um, and then, yeah, we do stuff as a community, like uh, community watch parties and stuff, but definitely not live. We we have a, a community server for that. And uh, yeah, we'll do like community nights like this. This Sunday, we're doing a game called Human Fall Flat, which is like this ridiculous, like you're these little like clay dudes and you can run around maps uh, that are either like bigger than you or they're like themed. They're like winter themed or whatever. And you just got to get to the end and you can you can like get in little cars and, and pull down coal to put in the cars, to put in the furnace, to propel you forward, to open the thing. It's like Rube Goldberg esque like mm. do this to this to this to get to the end of the game. And uh, the controls are ridiculous. And yeah, we, we do that as like community nights or we'll play certain things that have multiple uh, like code names, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I usually do a lot of different variety games, although I specifically like ones that let me involve the community. Like XCOM is a huge one that I play where it's like I can recruit soldiers and rename them and customize how each of them looks individually. So pretty much everyone you see in chat, if they've been around for XCOM, has has a soldier and they go on missions and everything like that. I try not to get them horrifically murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Only like regular murdered. That's right, yeah. And they, they can like level up into different classes and there's abilities that they can pick from. Like I love it, everyone pick their own abilities. So it's not like, oh, but optimally, no, screw that. You can have whatever abilities you want. You can look however you want. And yeah, it's really fun. You kill them? Well, sometimes it happens. I mean, I'm not perfect. <laughs> you got eight or nine of them killed that's so many that was the first campaign we played through this second one this dlc like expansion that we're doing is like i don't know maybe you got like five of them maybe six of them killed at this point it sounds like they were terribly mangled just woo he's kind of like the ghostly janitor now Oops. Oh, God, I didn't heat this. I always forget to heat these up. <laughs> it was 20 in the last campaign total out of, what, about 40 community members? So I got roughly half the community killed. And I've gotten seven killed in this campaign. Seven so far. How many people die in, like, a normal campaign? Well, I, I swear I, to God, if the answer is zero. No, it depends on how good at you are. I don't know. <laughs> how many people on average die in an XCOM campaign? I don't, I don't know. Who's to say, really? Not zero. Do you ever die or you're just killing other people? I'm the commander. No, no. I, I, I'm... I'm I'm the You're commander like, I who would just never die. No, I send people to get killed. I I do all the uh like equipment management and what research upgrades we get to do and who actually goes on the mission, although even that there's a little bit of, like I won't call it rules, but if a mission is going to go ahead 
and I'm live, I try, like I say to people, who who wants to go on this mission? And I try to get people who are in chat just so that like, if you had a dentist appointment and you come back and you're like, oh no, I missed the stream. I'm like, that sucks, you died. Like, I, I don't like the possibility of people dying off st like screen and not have them see it. So I really like to make people watch if their character gets mangled, you know? Shay's like a rich CEO, makes all the decisions, but doesn't lose his job when making terrible choices. Okay, that might seem like a good analogy, but it's not actually Yo, true. I'm MBA a streamer. Program. I'm a streamer and therefore not rich. Thank you very much. What did you say, Dress? Just earlier, someone had commented that like all the people in the MBA we're ah. all going to be like CEOs who like didn't help and blamed other people for their problems. But in this context, it absolutely was, Leo. Oh, I got an uncut opal. That's that's cool. I remember I got cutting elementary geode. Yeah, yeah, that. You can bust it open. Click it to use it, and, and you'll get something from it. My, I got an uncut opal. Oh, yeah, I got an opal, too. Yeah. So now I, I think we could, if we have a chisel, I remember from the old game, we can, like, chisel away at it and turn it into an actual cut opal that might be worth something. No, see, listless. That's what I'm saying. I said I'm a streamer and therefore not rich. I was speaking, of course, to the to the average experience of most streamers, because most streamers are not in that top 0.01 percent of the millions and millions of Twitch accounts. We are not. We are not all Mr. Beast. <laughs> I love Mr. Beast. <laughs> Although I do feel like <laughs> some of his challenges could be like like he has such a robust team. But sometimes the, the challenges that they do in sequence, I'm like, oh, that could have been a little cleaner. See, I love how you you can take, like, your the escape room mind to it, like the, the designer mind. You just want things to flow nicely. Yeah. But he's still incredible. Don't get me wrong. I should have a chisel in my tool belt. Most tools are given to you and are held in your tool belt in your armor tab. No more taking up an inventory. Star Wait, really? They just give us stuff now and it also sits on a belt? Where, where's the belt? In your armor tab. Where's my armor tab? What is this? Worn equipment? Is it this? I think I have enough armor if we want to go try killing things. Or do you okay. want to make better armor? Ah, open the tool belt. Here it is. Bronze, hatchet, chisel. I got a knife. Saw, pestle, and mortar. I got a watch. What the hell is the watch for? View watch. Oh. I can't. It's used for treasure trails. All right. Uh, where are you? I'm uh, near the furnace. Okay. Follow the path back to the guy. Because we got to be like, hey, we're ready. Is it where the red flag is? Uh... No, I think that's just me. <laughs> I think that's where you're walking to on your mini-map, yeah. Oh, you're right, Aaron. Yeah, there you, there did used to have to be a Tinder box that we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll follow you. Okay. Yeah, head, head back to this dude. Excellent. Not only do you have a food, a helmet, and melee weapon, but you've equipped additional melee armor. Well done. Now you're prepared. It's time to learn some combat techniques. Combat in RuneScape uses a resource called adrenaline. As you attack, you will gain adrenaline. When you come out of combat, your adrenaline drains to zero. Oh, so it's like a warrior in Guild Wars. Okay. When built up, adrenaline can be used on powerful attacks called abilities. Threshold abilities require 50% adrenaline and spend 50 15 when activated. Okay. It can be accessed on an action bar. You can left click or keybind. Okay. 
Abilities in one of the actions an action bar can hold. A threshold ability called Slaughter has been added to your action bar. When triggered, it will go on cooldown. Can also hold items and abilities. Drag cooked fruit food from my backpack. Okay. Ready to slay some trolls. Head into the cave to the north and defeat five troll chuckers with melee attacks. Okay. Uh, do I have to... Are, is all the food individual? Like, do I have to put it all on my heart bar like that? Or will it just eat more... Oh, just so it one says is I needed. need uh, to equip a magic weapon. Is that just the gloves that he gave me? A magic weapon? Uh, why do you need a magic weapon? Hmm. Mine just says this defeat guy? troll chuckers fight. Yeah, this dude, Turiel. Yeah, he said, hello, what are you after then? And then he said, who are you? Do you have anything for trade or nothing? So he said, I'm a slayer master. I train adventurers to learn the weakness of seemingly invulnerable monsters. To learn how you need to kill specific monsters to identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. And I said, what's first? And he said, you need a magic weapon. Huh. Do you know how to get a magic weapon? No. And I don't know why he gave you that. Do you also have the troll thing? Top uh, left, does it say? So. Top left, does it say way of the I warrior? I have way of the warrior, yeah. Yes. Do I have to click on that first? Yeah, I think we want way of the warrior, not the other thing that he gave you. Okay. So now it should say like defeat troll chuckers zero to five. Okay, perfect. So it's trying to teach me about combat. Oh, yeah. Adrenaline. Just, yeah, yeah. I'll just hit yes, 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 yes. Definitely your way, Woo, yes. You like mace and shield? Okay. <laughs> you want to put all your cooked food in this bar? Uh, just one apparently is good. Like as long as it's the same kind, I guess. It'll just eat the oh. next crayfish or whatever. Okay. Okay. So, off to kill some trolls. Oh, that sucks. That's a lot of dead people. Oh, well. Oh, I'm sure that won't happen to us. Hey, it's a wounded yes, soldier. very experienced. Hello. How are you doing today? <laughs> My spleen. You know, maybe bothering someone that's been heavily beaten by trolls might be a bad idea. I think I'd better leave him to recover. Okay, sure. Let's go get the trolls. Your ability bar is minimized. Click that box you clicked earlier. Oh, I should just start attacking them? Yeah, I think so. I think we can melee attack these trolls. Die, trolls! What do you mean I only killed three? I clearly killed a bunch more than three. I'm looting. I'm looting everything. me okay I think uh
<laughs> At least that eat food to key on your keyboard. Where was the eat food key? Oh! One, two, three, four. Like that. Same thing with this bar. It didn't really give me a useful bar there, did it? How do I get rid of this one? certain number we have to kill uh yeah five which we've absolutely done <laughs> excuse me troll sir had a whole raw ass chicken. Oh, a cooked chicken. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm moving away from the trolls for a moment. Because I need to, uh... Do, do something with this hot bar. I don't know what, what I've... I, I've ruined something. I don't know what I've done. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but this doesn't have to do with the new combat system. It just had to do with, like, me not understanding the UI and how to put things in place. <laughs> okay, I better, I better eat a bunch of food. Oh, a rabbit sandwich. Hell yeah. When I bury these bones, does it just put them on the ground? Isn't... Okay, no. Okay. No, this is fine. Oh, can we bury bones, like, right here, right now? Yeah. Yeah, you can... You can bury bones to get the prayer XP. Almost. So we can get better prayers later, I guess. Yeah, I'm I'm willing to give a shot at at understanding the the new combat because it's it's like yeah you have a little skill bar it's kind of like kind of like Guild Wars. Mm. Oh, where blade storm drape? Oh, is this a cape? Did I get a did I get a cape? Oh hell yeah! Look at that. Oh, you got a cape too. I think I see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It is it is free to play. Yes, Wolf, yeah. You can be a member, but you don't you don't have to be at all. Hi. -ya! Okay. Uh, I think we can go back anytime. We have definitely murdered more than enough of these trolls. 
one more murder. <laughs> one more murder. Excuse you, don't kill me like that. Die. There we go. Dead. Loot everything. Eat this rabbit sandwich. I'm sorry, is there a tomato? I'm eating this tomato. Do? Uh maybe you can turn them into like arrows or something? Mm. I don't actually know. Yeah. Oh, you made peanut butter cookies, Wolf? Hell yeah. Somebody else will definitely correct me if it's not arrows. Somebody else will tell you. <laughs> no, they're super helpful. Yeah. Oh, they are arrows. You can make arrows out of them. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, I see. The stick Leo tried to give me is the start of an arrow. So sticks and feathers will probably make those arrows then. Thrower, that guy. That's cool. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Every time I look at Leo, he's almost dead. <laughs> he's, he's got like no HP. There's so much food around. Grab something. Leo, take some food. Oh, I can eat this cabbage. Yes. They're so soft. Oh my god. Is that how you is that how you like making them? I'm maybe oh. going to a cookie swap tomorrow and have to bake cookies and like I cook a lot, but I never bake anything. Oh. That'll be fun. <laughs> maybe. It's supposed <laughs> to be a snowstorm, so I don't know if I'll make it all the way down. Oh shit, is it? On Thursday, which I'd be staying the night. Oh, okay. Are we continuing to murder or are we leaving? Uh, we can go turn the quest in. Okay. Is it peanut butter, um, icing sugar, and chocolate chips? Or is there egg or anything in it? The suspense. <laughs> hey, sir, we murdered all of those trolls. Well done. Are you ready to move on? How are you already there? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I just walked out of the cave. Oh, is it really? <laughs> I do feel like I guess the ingredients. Bread, butter, sugar, and an egg. Okay. Well, can I just pick up this uh, sword on the ground? No. Not if I get to the sword first. Ha ha! <laughs> Christ. The sword is like broken, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's just set design. So you said yeah. move on? I'm ready to move on, yeah. It's time to learn a bit more. Your attack. Gain adrenaline. These attacks are abilities too, known as basic abilities. Okay. They're currently activated by a special action bar. It's able to run an automated ability firing system called Revolution. Each attack cycle, Revolution will activate the leftmost ability that's not currently on cooldown as long as you meet its requirements. Okay. Revolution is fully customizable in your combat settings. You can feel a full suite of your abilities in these abilities, grouped by style. 
to find out what it does, hover over an ability. Drag the eat food ability from your constant. Okay. Oh, I see. That's how we eat food. I like how they call eat food an ability. Like it makes you feel very accomplished. <laughs> Good job. You did something today. I'm like, yes. System. The game has so many systems. It's a bit overwhelming. That's true. It does have like a lot. They're like, oh yeah, click to open your inventory and then click that button. And then in the sub sub menu, click on this gear that's to the top right in order to get to the system that you actually need. It's like, shit. But would you have enough peanut butter for an ostrich egg? Okay, so how come it keeps flipping my bars around when it shows me that tutorial? Like, I had things how I liked it, and now the mm. 1 to through 9 are these random basic skills again. How do I... No thanks. It did take me a second to figure oh, out I that I could that. move the bars around. They were super in the way, and I was like, I don't know how people are clicking on things. Hey, Rock! What do we do after this? Uh, give me one sec. Explore your abilities, then talk to Turiel again. Oh, I see. So this, can I? Because it wants me to eat, but then when I go to eat, it says you're at full health and can't eat. <laughs> go get smacked by a troll, I guess. Can I, can I close this? I don't want this. How do I not have this bar? How do I? Yeah, can someone just like beat me up a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> do I need this? I guess, I guess I need this. You have six things of peanut butter. Do you have Costco where you're at? You can just get one really big one. Also smooth, right? Yeah, smooth. Yeah. Were you able to eat something or do you also need to go get beat up a little bit? Uh, I'm still trying to figure out my skill bars like an idiot. I think I've understood now that like top left is my action bar, like my, my current one, like you can flip it around. But now I'm trying to figure out, like, I have the two skill bars and I, I really only want one of them at this moment. I guess I need to because I need one of them to be these auto skills or, or whatever they're called. Can I make that 10? Oh. Did I, did I figure that out? Did I finally figure that out? <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. I, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just getting some skills. Okay. I'm going to put slaughter there and I'm going to put, where's my ultimate guy? There he is. Look at him go. And then what is this? Havoc. I'm going to put Havoc on here. That sounds pretty cool. Here, wait. I'm just going to watch what you're doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's probably a terrible idea, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess it's fine, Aaron. I'll try and get used to this. Because, like... Is the extra bar all... Like, I know I can, you know, pick what it is. Uh, but I just wonder if it's, like... I don't know why it flips around when I flip it around like like this. When it... Oh, I guess it doesn't. It Those stayed where they were that time. That's good. Oh, my gosh. Someone's painting their nails a penguin. 
That's so cute. <laughs> so that when Nat flips people off, she's actually <laughs> it, giving it them a really, cute penguin. It really emphasizes. <laughs> it's like, am I mad or not? It's the angry Newt Newt penguin from Pengu. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go Wait, talk to this guy going? again. The same I, guy? You need proper challenge. There's a really big troll called Morningstar in the cave. Go take them down. Yeah, I don't know why it was Wait, telling did he, you to Did eat. he say that to you? Yeah. God damn it. Say it to me. Say it he to says, my face. Yeah, he said, defeat Morningstar, the troll chucker boss. That's what he said. Oh, also, I got to go make some food, like cut down this tree make a little bit of food and then I'll dump my stuff in the bank or whatever. Okay, cool. Yep. Just light these logs right here. That's the one, Rock. Okay, let me just take 10 years to light these logs. I'm really bad at making fire. Okay, they finally lit. <laughs> I'm gonna make chicken. Raid! Oh, hey! Hello, Artsy! Thank you, thank you! Hello, raiding folks. We are we are just playing RuneScape for the first time in more than 10 years. It is I, Shay, and Triss. Hey, hey! Again, I appreciate you rounding down to 10 years. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I burnt some of this meat. Let me just drop it on the floor. I'm sure somebody will. The world will take care of that. Okay, I'm putting the wool away. I'm putting all of the feathers and stuff. There's probably a quick way to click this, huh? Whatever. It's fine. I got this. They want me to deposit more items. Wait, they? Who does? This dude, he's like, you have too many items. You need to go deposit them into a oh, bank. Oh, yes. Yeah, you might want to do that. <laughs> In the bank. Still over uh, here. That's okay. I have some pots to rub. Oh, okay. You got that. Yeah, I had no idea what it was. Yeah, gives you instant XP in your, your skill thing or whatever. Cool. Assume the first. Mm hmm. So when it said choose an option, did you say tell me about the trolls? Uh, no. God damn it. <laughs> I recommend you bring. Okay, hold on. I recommend you bring at least 12 cooked food to survive your battle with the big cave troll. You can get raw meat from rabbits. You're welcome to food. Okay. Set up my action bars. Tell me about the trolls. Where's the nearest bank? I need guidance. Farewell. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I'm now staring at. Yeah, same. But how did I... you get the uh, troll quest? So I just talked to him. So top left, what does it say? It says way of the warrior. In the activity tracker, top left of your screen, it should say like. I don't know if I have that anymore. Oh, uh, how do you bring that back up? Uh, bottom right of your screen, the very first icon that looks like a map with an X marks the okay. spot. If yeah. Way of the warrior, the best of your ability, explore your abilities. Ah, then talk to him again. How do I explore my abilities? Uh... <laughs> what button is it? It opened mine automatically. Where? <laughs> mm. Skip. Oh, just go kill some people and some rabbits. I don't really want to murder the rabbits, but how did I open you said up if my you abilities? murder a ridiculous amount, you can maybe get one as a friend. If you're a member. Mm. Yeah. How do we actually look at our abilities? Like I know we don't have to, but if we want to, how do we do that? <laughs> Where... We're just wondering, like, what am I good at? Yeah, where where is that? 
I see skills, which is fine, but I'm look we're looking for abilities. Bottom row, fourth icon. One, two, three, four. Powers. No? Oh! Yeah, it is that fourth icon that looks like three little orbs and then you hover yeah. over it. Familiar mm -hmm. magic, but melee abilities. There we go. Melee abilities. And then what do you do once you're in here? You can just like look at them. You can drag some to your you hot just bar. admire them. Yeah. <laughs> you can, damn, those are some nice abilities. You can drag them to your hot bar. Um, and then, yeah, talk, talk to this dude again. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> you're over near the rabbits. No. That wizard lady has a wolf that she summoned. That was cool. So yeah, when you talk to him and move that line along, it should say, defeat Morningstar, the troll chucker boss, top left. It said, I recommend you bring at least 12 cooked food to survive your battle with the big cave troll. Yeah. You can get, ah. Uh... But we Do don't I have, have to. to go. No, no. Oh, okay. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We're going to go kill us a troll. And top left, it does say defeat Morningstar now, right? Yes. Perfect. All right. Let's go kill that thing. <laughs> I guess all the other smaller ones ran off. Oh, Good. this dude, this dude gave us a bunch of rabbit sandwiches. Corporal, nice. what's his face? Wait, are you here? Oh, wait. Do we have Maybe to do it boss. Alone? Yeah, I guess it's a solo. Yeah, it's a solo instance. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Let me know when you kill Morningstar. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going. Die. Hiya. <laughs> Mr. Star, I'm going to need you to die for me. Remember to eat your vegetables. Oh, yeah, I don't want to blast techno mayonnaise. Oh, my gosh, mayonnaise. I like that name. <laughs> Okay, I killed Mr. Star. Yeah, I murdered him as well. Good. Return to Teriel. Yeah, so but now we just leave. Follow? Hey, thanks for following me. I appreciate that as well. Most of your abilities aren't in the yellow rectangle on your hotbar, the autocast zone. Yeah, they probably shouldn't, right? Like, I don't want them to autocast all the time forever, right? Or maybe maybe some of them I do, but I don't know. It's good to choose as well. All right, Turiel, we, we got them. You defeated their leader? Wow. I didn't expect you to actually survive. Oh, so you Rude. just sent me in there to die like an asshole? That's cool. Good to know, Turiel. Thanks for that. So then does it say for you choose an option? Who are you? Do you have anything to trade or nothing? Are we done with him? Uh, I think so. Path of the Warrior, your reward. Three rabbit sandwiches. Wait, but that other guard gave me like six sandwiches before he ran out of that cave. And the reward for defeating him was three sandwiches? I don't know about this economy, Tris. This is, uh... <laughs> I didn't see any rabbit sandwiches. I don't know how you got a ton. Maybe it was someone uh, from the chat. I I don't know. <laughs> it will allow you to keep track of all your rare drops from Slayer monsters. Hello, and what are you after then? Who are you? Do you have anything for trade or nothing? No, I'm going to say or nothing. Yeah. Should we just leave him? Where do we go next? Okay. Uh, I'm going to stand here for two seconds. Shay didn't have enough food, so it auto gave him the food. Oh, <laughs> it took pity on me and gave me a bunch of charity. That's cool. <laughs> so I might not be doing the activity tracker pass. I have no idea. 
Oh, yes, right. Load your quiver with arrows and craft your own bow. Craft arrows for your quiver. Practice your melee attacks and collect arrows by slaying... Ah! Oh, yeah, you got to pick a path. Mm. Which you one did do you bow pick? And arrow fetching? I haven't picked one yet. Okay. Howdy. I feel like a lot of Canadians say howdy. <laughs> yeah, eh? With every subscription, I only grow stronger. Wait, which one did you pick? <laughs> oh, thank you, Mayonnaise. I haven't picked one yet, actually. Thanks, though. Hey, Mayonnaise uh, followed and subscribed like, like immediately after. It must mean I'm doing something right. Thanks. <laughs> or there's pity. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> or there's pity. <laughs> if you could all pity me several hundred dollars. <laughs> I uh, was on a podcast once and it was called Who's Your Honey? And they had to try to determine who in the podcast was dating who. And I yeah. was there as like the extra person to try to like throw them off. And within like one second of me talking, they were like, oh, she's Canadian. I was like, I didn't say anything that would lead you to believe I was Canadian, but they were immediately convinced. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Did it for pity. It's uh, uh, sorry. First of all, Joe, no, I, I, I don't have raids blocked. I got a got a raid just uh, ten minutes ago from Artsy. Um, yeah. Did yeah? Did you say that? Trent, what what do you want to know about me? Did you say out about? Moose. No. <laughs> Nothing like I think that. I might have apologized. Ah. Classic. Is anyone in the chat not from Canada? It's okay if you're not. That's odd, Joe. Yeah, no, there, there's so, uh, a lot of uh, non-Canadians as well. But I just mean, like, for, for a small community and, and it made up of, uh, again, the, the Twitch overall <laughs> having millions and millions of people, the fact that, like, a bunch of Canadians just happen to wander in here without knowing is... Well, now I have tags. I do have a tag now. They release tags you could, like, put on your streams. So mine is, like, mm. puns. I have a pun tag. I have a uh, Canadian. Yeah. California, California. Yeah, we got USA. British. I guess that explains why you watch all the same shows. But I'm not British, so I don't. I just fell into a hole one day. <laughs> Games are going James good. Caster yeah. opened his mouth, and I climbed right in. Well, Do I have to we have closed this closed down for two years? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't pick a path. Have you picked one? I have not, but I was gonna ask chat: Does uh, does the Slayer collection log need to be like in your inventory for you to use it, like when you slay things, or can I put it in the bank? It also says I can put it in my pocket. Should I do that? I put it in my pocket. I don't know what putting it in my pocket did, but it's in there now. <laughs> hey, Wu, same, same. Absolute iron grip, awkward, lanky British comedians <laughs> have on my soul. Wu, Wu is Wu is a very fun guy. He says treasured Wu has things. Wu the same history as me on his <laughs> yeah. browser. Okay, where did I put this fucking? Slayer you should log. host the Taskmaster night because there's a whole bunch of challenges you can do. Um, just what, typing, like at, I'm at sure. home. Yeah, yeah, Taskmaster at home. Alex Horn on Twitter posted all these Taskmaster at home tasks that people could do. I um, see. I think it was it was supposed to be for parents trying to entertain their children, but oh, like regardless, it was incredible. <laughs> It's it ruined my hot bar again. Why is it? I don't understand. Okay, while you're deciding, I'm gonna run and grab some more water. Okay.
I don't, I don't get why it does that. I played RuneScape in 07 and started again on Sunday. It's not the same game. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm remembering quite a lot. Like that tutorial island was very similar to the old school tutorial they put you through. But... But some of this is certainly not the same. No, I'm clicking change action bar to this number, but what I'm saying was it was already fucked up. Like they had already, I had this skill. Where is it? Where's the skill? Uh, uh, I had this skill as number one on the bar. And it like woobled everything. Tutorial Island, do you mean the UK? No. God, that's that that tutorial uh island just got a complete nerf. Like they 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 boosted its difficulty by quite a lot. I hear that uh things are cold and expensive. Okay, I need to I'm gonna I'm gonna deposit a couple of rabbit sandwiches. And this mace. <laughs> Not related, but we were talking about Canadians being here. And anyways, I've been made aware that we all like talk, like to talk a specific way. Like when we speak, our voice goes up at the end of our sentences until we're done talking. Then it goes down, meaning your turn to talk. Wait, what? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not. Is it? I don't. I don't think so. Okay, I'm back. What is up talk? <laughs> Not much. What's up talk with you? <laughs> you did actually just do it. Did I really? No, it it actually wasn't on purpose. Oh my god, wait, did I do it again? Son of a bitch. We don't do that. Okay, Tris, do we do this? <clears throat> do what? It, it's <laughs> okay. Apparently, a lot of Canadians, what we'll do is we'll do we'll do a higher, like, like we'll our voice will go up, and then we bring it back down. When, like, we're done talk. Oh my god, I'm doing it as we speak. I'm quite literally doing it as we speak. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I've been made aware that I'm breathing right now. How dare you? <laughs> it's like, it's true. We're like talking, talking. See, my voice is going up. And then if I was, if I was, you know, finished my talk or I knew you wanted to say something, I would bring my voice back down like this and. And my sentence is now done. And then you'd say something. Oh my god, that's so mm. fucked up. What? I've never like been good, made aware of this. It's a good cue. It's a yeah. good cue to people that you're ending your sentence. Yeah. I've just never been made aware of this. Can you guys hear my cat? If anyone's like, why are you breathing weird? It's just my cat purring. <laughs> Etris has three incredible cats. They are very cute yeah, and also yeah, cool. <laughs> well. Their names are Arrow and Mars and Lucy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's probably a good reason you can't post photos in here, but I would bombard you all with photos of my cats if I could. <laughs> oh, see, you I need to join. I am the old cat lady. You gotta join to the guild. One of them I accidentally got. Like I purposely adopted two, um, and then one of them was a little stray cat that was clearly an abandoned house cat, and she's just so friendly. So I got her a few months ago, and I guess she's just kind of sticking around. She needs a little bit more help 
she needs to go to the vet again, but she's doing a lot better and she's so friendly. So it's like, if someone was interested in her, maybe, mm -hmm. but if not, like that's okay too. My cats are all so <laughs> cuddly and just friendly. I keep, like, I keep. Yeah, you've met them. Yes. Yeah, they were, they were all very nice. Neighbors leave for a day. Do you see the cat sitting in the window? Oh, yep. That cat's been abandoned. Take the cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was outside. Is Triss the old cat lady? I um, am. Triss isn't very old, so. <laughs> I think it's all about perspective. Like, I feel <laughs> old. These two years have aged me. There's someone down our street who has seven dogs. Now that is an insane amount of work. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to choose the first bow and arrow path because it'll, it says it'll give me a reward and the other ones aren't giving me a reward. So Okay. Trading with Corporal Booth in the troll cave. Fletching or defeating. How do I fletch? Wait, that's ranged XP. That's not it. Fletching. There it is. How do I, how do I make this? Tris, do you know how to fletch? No, I'm making an account so I can send cat pictures. <laughs> oh wait, are you doing the gilded thing? Maybe. Oh my god. Okay, so when 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 you know we were setting all this up, I just said to you Discord because it, it's honestly the way more popular platform that everyone knows and has used for years, right? Um, but I use gilded for my community because it allows for more like channel types and stuff like calendars where we can set community nights and like a media channel where you can post pictures of your cats and people can just see that like immediately and all together, right? So I, I mm -hmm. like gilded. So I didn't tell you about that. I was just like, oh yeah, just get discord. Cause like, we'll just use You're that like, to no talk. No one wants to see photos of your fucking cats. No, no. And now, no, but I didn't, I didn't want to be like, all right, so make discord so we can talk, but also make gilded, which is basically discord, but like in my opinion better, but it's not as popular yet. But like that's so I just didn't say anything, but uh, can people see your email. Uh, no, I don't believe they can see your email. They can see like your username and stuff, but no, I don't think they can see your email when you like put it in for like a login or whatever. Uh, and yes, oh, it, it says is open. I don't have permission. Okay, for... wait. Which one is it under? Uh, there is a, there should be like an images channel. Oh, for permissions, just go to what? You just go to the rules, I think, right? And make yourself I'm into... I'm under a mental health one. No, do not mm. post your cats in the mental health. Although that is hilarious. It would, it would, uh, <laughs> look, it would make people feel better. There is, uh, there is, um, content notifications. No, 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 no. There, there's, there should be like a rules thing. You need to give yourself, I'll, I'll just, here, let me, let me see if I can assign you the thing. So it opens up everything for you. Where are you? What is your what is your It'll name? It'll be like the fifth thing I download. I'm just Tris. Yeah, you're Tris. All right. So I'm going to do I'm going to do this. Did that open up? Yeah. Any more? Yeah, a bunch of channels. Yes. Is it just chatting? It's well, just chatting is our just general like thing that we do. If you go down mm -hmm. into community, there should be one called cooking and food, images and pics, mouthy memes. Okay. Yeah. Now, all of them are on my phone, so just give me a minute. Oh, oh my okay. gosh, there's other people's cats. This yeah. is so lovely. People post their cats. People post, like, food that they've uh, that they've made or that they bought. Uh, nice. There's a bunch of stuff yeah, that people Are there post. the peanut butter cookies? Uh, I don't think Wolf posted the peanut butter cookies, but she might now that you've mentioned something. Okay, I'm a something. big fan of this orange cat. Big fan of the orange cat. Where's the orange cat? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm in cooking and food. Whoops. Oh, yes, that's Hat's cat. What's the cat's name? 
Is Hat in here right now? Cat picks are good for the soul. Yes, mental health. If that's my, somebody posted it, Mayonnaise. Yeah, you can, and it is open. You can, you know, if you have a gilded thing or if you create one, you can join in the, the community. Oh my gosh, there's so many cat picks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Discord does link to Gilded, yes, because that's that's what we use. <laughs> yeah. The the Discord only gets used if we want to stream something because Gilded hasn't fully figured out how to make that a flawless experience yet. It's the one unfortunate thing. I don't know how to post. I must sound like such an idiot, but I feel like I've been trying to scroll down to the bottom for like forever. <laughs> no, no. So it's... What is happening? <laughs> so images and pics, images and pics in the top right, you'll see a plus icon that says add media. No. <laughs> oh, wait, are you on mobile? Oh, okay. are you yeah, on... yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're no, on no, mobile. No, oh God. No, 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 oh, no. I'm on, I'm on my computer. But okay. the problem is all my cat photos are on my phone. So just give me a minute. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'll send them you... to myself on Facebook. There you go. Perfect. The old, the old reliable. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, Nat, I'll I'll put up the uh I'll put it up in like gilded somewhere. I'll be like, by the way, if we and we we usually if we're running an event and we do it on on uh Discord, we we toss a link for people to do that, like to get back into it. So we do do that. I just don't like actively have it as a link or advertise it cuz like why why split people when we really don't use it, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I keep all the links to, to Gilded. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. It's good. You're in. You're in. Okay. Oh, oh, Monty's not in. Monty, are you in here? Damn. I don't think Monty's in here. Okay, how do I, how do I fletch arrows? I don't, it just says get them by trading or fletching or defeating troll chuckers. And I'm like, I, I don't know how to fletch. Oh yes, Monty did leave for D&D. &D. You're right, Nat. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant to tell Monty about the, the card thing that I learned. Cut logs, fletch into sticks, add feathers to sticks, smith arrow tips, combine. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of work for some arrows. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go do that then. Ultras is figuring out how to post cats. Yeah, I'm on a different quest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I got, I got these logs. Uh, let me see here. How do I fletch lo craft logs? Ah, yes. Skronk, skronk. Okay, I'm making, I'm making these. I'm making this shitty little bow. Yeah, Mayonnaise, so there's, there's some, um, there should be a channel called like Welcome and Rules. And if you just want to give that a quick read, uh, it'll, it'll tell you how to like open up all the other channels. It involves giving yourself the, Maybe the I role have read it. to see all the, that's okay. We were in the middle of something. But yeah, I thought, honestly, when I created that, I was like, oh, this will be so obvious. There's like, there's like only one or two channels you can see 
and one of them says welcome and rules so surely people will read it and then when they read it it tells them how to get into everything else but so many people have been like where the fuck's your stuff dude i can't see anything <laughs> actually mayonnaise what do you see and and tris what did you see for channels because you mentioned the mental health one and i'm like i guess i made that viewable even if you can't see any everything else what uh yeah i didn't click on it um okay but just the very first thing that popped up okay i'll have to see yeah because there should be there should be like a welcome in rules and then maybe the mental health one i was like oh this would be good to just keep not hidden just mm -hmm. in case mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna get these these feather. Oh, I gotta murder some more things that have feathers. Uh, I gotta go kill some chickens. Holy shit! Someone created a firewall. When was the last time you read the terms and agreement thing? No, I get it, Alpin, but I was also like, but that it's literally the first and only thing they have to do. Like it's not, like, <laughs> if you can't see anything. I guess people just more naturally assume that it's broken, I guess. Okay, I'm killing these chicken. Hi and again, I reiterate, reading is my one true nemesis. Well... Okay. Hello, chef and wizard who are following me. <laughs> These chickens are dangerous. Yeah, if you're not paying attention, I heard they can be. People should, yeah, I, I mean, that's that's the reason I did it, Alpin, where I didn't just have all the channels open. Like, I do want people to at least read, you know, the rules of our community, even if it is standard stuff. Just so that if someone's a jackass, I can be like, well, maybe you should have not been a jackass. <laughs> that really doesn't happen, thankfully. People are decent. Also, funny that you mentioned uh, cats and stuff, because I just heard a bunch of meowing on my screen. I don't know whose cats around, but... I was trying to think, I'm like, did I force this topic or did it come up naturally? No, it came up naturally. Don't worry about it. You're good. <laughs> Okay, I'm making these arrowheads. Okay, I made arrowheads. Now, how do I assemble these? Use... Uh, yeah, 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 I gotta attach them to the... Whoops. Oh, I gotta attach the feathers first. Okay. Okay, I did it. I got headless arrows. Okay. All right, I did that now too. Aha! I have bronze arrows. One of my cats is named Arrow, and that was traumatizing. <laughs> headless arrows. <laughs> Okay, so I made that, and it was like, get bronze arrows by trading, fletching, or defeating troll chuckers. I, I fletched 15 of them, and it says 0 out of 15. But, but like, right here, though, I have them. They're right there, so I don't understand. Also, somebody powered me down. Hmm. 
Apparently that's... Good lord. I don't, I don't, I don't need that many, but... Perfect. That also did not give me the 15 that I need. So I guess I'll go to this cave where the game wants me to go. I think most people just kill the trolls. Yeah, I think you gotta like do what it wants you to do. Hello, can I help? I'd like to trade. Whoa, what is happening here? Why, why does it? RuneScape contains a variety of shops where you can buy and sell items. I thought y'all said it was, it was based on player economy stuff. These are the items the shop is selling. You may need to scroll down to see more. Purchase an item, simply left click it. And then click the buy or take button. Sell an item, click the items tab. Select the item you want to sell. And then click the sell button. No, before... Before I said, oh, how do I sell these crap ass armors? And you all pointed me to the Grand Exchange, and I went, oh, aren't there, like, merchants or anything I can sell them to? And y'all were like, no, no, total player-driven economy. And this guy's like, nah, I'll buy your moldy rabbit sandwiches. Here's 60 bucks. <laughs> like. So I can sell to this guy. Yeah, but I gotta walk there, Leo. That sounds like a lot of work. Okay, so now I got the arrows. Learn how to buy items from and sell items to shops. Okay. <laughs> Trissa's figured out how to post the cat. <laughs> I can't, I can't see it. It also only lets me post one at a time. So it does seem dramatic to post like a bunch of them. Now nah, you're fine. That's what the media channels for. I can't even see where it went. It's there in the media channel. Somewhere. Look out to cooking and food and then back in images and pics maybe and it'll like mm. maybe load them. Okay. Every item doesn't quest locked. I see, I see. Is that, is someone dead? Oh yeah, that's that dead adventurer, dude. Yeah, good for him. Okay, I got the quiver thing. Hey, thanks, pity. A pity. Appity. I'm pretty sure it's just a pity. Splendid. Now you need a bow to fire those arrows. Use your woodcutting and fletching to craft a short bow. I did. I already did it. Oh. Oh no, I got a string bows. Oh, shit. I didn't get a bowstring. This isn't a completed bow at all. Alright, I gotta go to a field and pick flax. <laughs> Throw the arrows. Then they're really more like darts, aren't they, Rock? Which are in this game. Yeah, fair. 
Okay, I'm I'm making a bowstring. Oh, did you post them all up? Let me see. Let me see. Wait, why am I? I know what they look like. I still want to see. <laughs> Craft logs in your and then choose short bow. Yeah, please don't. I already did that. Gotta do this like eight thousand times. Who's this now? Who, who is Appity the Reaper who is reaping? Okay, I strung. Load your quiver with arrows and craft your own bow. Oh, is 28.98 the max? Okay. Oh. Wearing melee armor makes my ranged attacks less accurate? I don't want to do this. I don't... Get out of here. <laughs> You're broke? Yeah. <laughs> you look really broke. You have to make ranged armor? Come on. No, give me, give me my claws back. See? See what it did, Aaron? Look. See, Aaron? I didn't do this. I didn't change this. I didn't change this around. I didn't do anything. You saw that before in number one, it, it was, this was in one. Oh, I have the setting on. How do I turn the setting off? How do I? Action bar. Oh, see, so this would be useful, but I guess I can set these up later, huh? I'm beginning to understand. So when you change to, like, magic, it'll swap out to four or one or whatever. So it's like, yeah, it'll, it'll change it for you. Gamer Viper, thank you. Okay, so I get so now when I change this, it should it should stay how I want it. Like if I go up here and I go like this, I go like this. And go like this. There. That'll work. 
Okay. Those cats are so cute. Oh my lord. <laughs> yes. The self restraint of only posting one of each of them was <laughs> award worthy. All right. Tress is taking over the images and pics channel for the next few days, okay? <laughs> if you see cats all over, you'll know why. It's me. I don't think anyone would mind one bit. <laughs> They're just so silly. Oh, I see. May yeah, Mayo joined too. Hi, Mayo. Yeah, do you, do you guys have pets? If so, tell me what, what kind of pet and send photos. Yeah, everybody, everybody got to say. Okay. Oh my God, Piper is such a cute name. Oh, yeah. P Piper is a good name. Jack Russell Terrier named Monty gets a little confusing when talking about him in the Gilded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have a community member named Monty. It is. <laughs> yeah. Your cat was named Piper too, Repoplums? Oh, shit. No, no, no real Discord, uh, Pity. We, we sometimes use it to, like, if we're streaming certain community events, but no, G Gilded is similar to uh, Discord, but it allows for more channel types. Uh, like, there's calendar stuff, so we can do community events. Uh, there's media channels, so people can post all their cat pictures. Like, there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, my gosh. The dogs are so cute, Mayo. Mom's, mom's dog is Prince. Aww. Yeah, no need. Exactly, Nat. No need to pay for things. You don't got to pay to have animated GIFs and emotes and all that. It just comes with the program. <laughs> it's... I feel like the best situation is always if you have roommates and your roommate has a pet. Because then you get all the joy of with no with responsibility, <laughs> no responsibility. <laughs> like I would love a dog, but that sounds like so much work. I can leave the house right now whenever I want. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. I mean, it really is like the, you know, the responsibility of a kid, right? Where you can't just be like, you know, I think I'll go. Uh, hiking with this buddy over it's like no that the, your dog well I mean I guess you can take the dog did, in that instance I did try to get my cats to walk on a leash they'll like walk in our backyard because I used yeah. to live somewhere that had a fence in backyard and so they like my cats none of them can jump at all I don't know why they don't even try they're like really? the ground creatures oh, yeah, you're, you're they right, don't even yeah. try yeah one of them goes on our island but that's it the other ones don't even try so there's a fence. They just hang out in the garden. Um, but now I just moved and our new spot does not have a backyard or, or a fence. I mean, it's got a big backyard, but, you know, there's all sorts of animals. I'm like a little bit north in Toronto now or north in Ontario. Ground cats. Yeah, that's exactly what they were, Rock. They, they, she's right. They didn't even try. They were just kind of like, do 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 do. Or they're like, they would like stare at her, and she'd be like, "Aw, you want up?" And the cat's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> like, yeah. Who, one of them is more talented, but I think because her sister, like the the all black cat Mars. I think if she believed in herself, she could jump around and she she's the only one that jumps on the kitchen island. But um, so we got the first two, Arrow and Mars. Uh, they were found really sick in a barn and three out of the four cats from that litter had broken tails. Ooh. So I think that 
there was just nowhere to jump and three of them that had broken tails like just i don't know i assume that having a tail helps you with coordination and where to jump yeah so mars is the only one with a fully intact tail and actually fun fact the other two cats from that litter i convinced my parents to take so we technically oh, yeah. have all four of them they're just <laughs> spread out yeah yeah, their names were originally um, Snickers and Twix, and we got Arrow and Mars. Uh, right. Oh, but ours are also kind of like space cats, so I like that a little bit better than chocolate bars. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Also, Mayo, mm -hmm. yeah, when you moved to Cali, Piper stayed with your mom because she has acres of land and you have a condo. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Uh, a good mm -hmm. decision. She's a big dog and wouldn't be living her best life with me. It was sad, but it was what was good for her. Well, that's very responsible of you. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. Yeah, so my cats are just a little more on the derpy scale than the elegant scale. <laughs> I they love that, They just are though. obsessed with being on your lap, though. Like, they want to cuddle up. Arrow likes to, like, be curled up around you and have her head on the pillow, on your pillow to sleep. They just do, like, really silly things. Leo, it bothers me that that link isn't even HTTPS. It's an unsecured HTTP link. <laughs> yeah, also, they're, they're big lap cats. Whoever Charlie with a Y is, I don't know that you you told us or whatever. You said, hey, you in Twitch chat, use your Twitch Prime. And immediately we got botted by someone that said, get Prime subs <laughs> that copy banned. So I don't know what you're summoning, but. <laughs> Bots, my people. <laughs> people that can't do captchas can't count the number of bicycles like just need to be banned aren't, aren't main coon cats like enormous they're just like giant fluffers oh yeah what's that what are those other cats they're they're like calico or no what the heck are yeah. they they're like is they're that like multi-colored ones there's like different kinds of dogs there's cats, giant cats just like... that are like dogs, basically. Maine Coon. Maine Coon I don't think it's Maine boys. Coon. I think I thought it was called something else. I think Maine there's Coon? another kind that's called something else, isn't it? Mm, Am I crazy or is like, it just the one like, kind? Like a, like a lion? <laughs> <laughs> like a big cat? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Puma? Shay, are you thinking Lynx? of lions? <laughs> no, I... <laughs> <laughs> Norwegian forest? Maybe. I didn't think of Okay. Small lynx. Yeah, small lynx. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, more Piper. Oh, this one's Piper the cat. That's a very fun... Um, cat and dog name Aww. i heard orange cats are i think it's like 95 percent of the time male and they've got a little crazy in them which is kind of fun <laughs> i used to have a cat uh bruce um he was he was our little batman uh we <laughs> we got him from uh kijiji of all places because mm. I, you know, I, I just browse or I sell my old stuff there on Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, we saw the cat and I guess the people were getting rid of it because they had gotten a dog and it wasn't working out. So we, uh, yeah, we were like, yeah, we'll, we'll take Bruce. And so we, we didn't rename him because he was older too and was like, okay. So yeah, it was Bruce. He was Batman and he was <laughs> awesome. He uh, would sleep with like, I would wake up and usually I wake up in the morning and I go and I make coffee. I have one coffee in the morning and that's it. I'm good. So I would wake up and I would like go to do that. But immediately he'd see me wake up and he'd walk up to the front, front of like the, the top of the bed right beside me and he would wait. And the correct response and only response he would accept was I would then have to flip the blanket so that he could get crawl inside the blanket Snuggle with me, under. put the, yeah, put the blanket back on the both of us. And I would have to like chill with him for just like 10 minutes and cuddle with him. And then he's like, of all course. right, now you can go do your stuff. So 
Mm. I love that he cat. Needs a love. He was so good. He was the best cat. Unfortunately, he he got like a like a kidney like disease, oh, I guess. No. Like he yeah, he he died far too young. It was mm. I was very upset because I loved him yeah. so much, but yeah, he Yeah. Yeah. We gave him a good mm -hmm. time though. He was he was good. Yeah. Yeah, when when did you have Bruce? I don't remember Bruce. Uh, no, it would have been at the first house I ever bought. Oh, God, mm. don't make me yeah, yeah. think of the year. I was going to say, I got to, yeah. but yeah, Never definitely mind. after, <laughs> after high school, even for sure. It was yeah. like, no, oh, the, that's the, so cute. the cat you probably knew was, uh, Tigger. Mm, yeah, Tigger. Mm-hmm. And and Remember her original name was Wiggles, and I did not keep that name. Yeah, Wiggles is uh, okay. I call I end up calling Lucy Goose so often just because we call her like I don't know, Lucy Goosey. Everyone does that. My my friend mm -hmm. has a uh, has a, a little husky named Lucy. Same thing, same thing. They'll just call her. They're like, "What are you doing there, Goose?" All the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's because she's so silly. Like in the photo, I don't know if you guys could see, but she's always sitting or like very folded over. She's like a little mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, people spitting straight cat facts now. It's the best. I've fully derailed this chat. You're like trying to play RuneScape and I'm like, let's talk about different kinds <laughs> yeah, of Yeah, you were like, fuck RuneScape, y'all post cats. <laughs> I'm here for it. Honestly, that happens sometimes. Like I'll just be an XCOM or whatever and like we get talking about like a game or something someone did or someone's mm -hmm. day or whatever. And then it's same thing. I'm just fully out to lunch. I'm just like tangenting hard the screen. People are dying. No, I usually pause it, <laughs> but. Mm, sure. Yeah. Take it easy, Aaron. Hi. Hi, Bliss. We're doing well. I, I do have to stop in about five minutes. I got to stop at seven because I have to go out. I'm meeting someone. So, uh, yeah. In real life? How rude. In real life. It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe this is for another time, but does anyone have a fun story why they picked their username that they did? I feel like there's so many random ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Follow? Follow? Hey, Syntaxes. I like that name. I think that's clever. But your name for me is Arcana D and D. Yeah. It's some people because you remember when you were like, oh, it lets you change your name. You you can just mm. change the you know, screen name yeah. and people. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, wow, you remember everyone's name so fast. Yeah, Darius and I have much the same origin. Like Chandra was like the very first like serious role play character that I had from mm -hmm. way back when. Yeah. And it just didn't. Yeah, it just stuck around and. uh yeah, Shay and I in elementary school, we had another friend who we were all reading like those Redwall books. Hell and so yeah. There was a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a squirrel named Triss. And so our other friend would always call me Triss just for, I don't know. We played a lot of random games at recess. Mm hmm. We had very strong powers of imagination and make believe. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. the adulting attacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot. Oh, remember when we would play Cops and Robbers all the time and you were always King of Robbers and you would always pick me first and I just felt like such a champion. <laughs> I don't know why. I remember one day everyone was like, why does Ka or Shay always get to be King of Robbers? Yeah, there are... <laughs> <laughs> there, <laughs> there was some stuff that like I look back now and I'm like oh you little asshole like like things like that like uh when we played Beyblade 
mm -hmm. I, I I remember that Pop would would take me to the the sales barn, um, mm -hmm. the the country market, and mm -hmm. there was the third party like Beyblade stuff. So uh, I would get the 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 metal uh, attack ring, and everyone else just had like the stuff that came at the store or Walmart or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I got it from like I don't know the the guy who had all the special stuff. And then mm -hmm. we would pay, play Beyblades. And because it was so much heavier and made of metal, it would like legit smash up people's Beyblades. <laughs> and uh, I, I was watching the Beyblade show then, and there was like a villain in the show, Kai, who, why is it always Kai? Why do they always, wasn't that? Yeah. Wasn't that the name of the, the bad guy from Digimon as well? Wasn't his name Kai? Uh, I don't think so, no. Oh no, it was Ken, right? Ken? Mm. Was it, remember the guy from season two that made the Digimon fight each other in like a Roman Coliseum? I should know this. I was like really obsessed with Digimon. Yeah, wasn't his name Ken? And then he got like, we, he, he became a good guy character in later seasons and he like straightened his hair. He had like straight hair from that point on. But when he was evil, he wore like those doofy glasses and he, his hair was like all over the place. He had like blue hair. But it was like a really deep blue or like purple or something. Anyway, that guy, I'm not that's sure. Digimon. Totally a tangent. Okay. No, you know what? So I love Digimon and uh, I really wanted to be Kari because we'd play at recess. And yes. so I went and I brought the Digimon card to the hairdresser and was like, this is how I want my haircut, which was like an anime, oh, no, like you unrealistic. Didn't do that, did you? <laughs> yeah. Really? And I got my haircut like oh, Kari, shit. where it's like when she's a kid and it looks like an M at the front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we got to school and our other friend, Rachel, was like, no, I'm Kari. And I had to be Sora. Okay. Yeah. So, so Rachel <laughs> and, and like, Joanna. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should have we should have overruled them. Rachel and Joanna would fuck with our Digimon games sometimes and like legit do it to like upset me. Joanna would just like run around in the Digimon games and you know, like we're kids, right? So it's like, it's literally the equivalent of like, bang, I got you, no, you didn't. And Joanna yeah. would just run around and just be like, oh yeah, well I, one, two, three, four, X, Y, Z, Digivolve, you can't defeat me. And I'm like, no, that's not fair. That's not how that works. She's like, no, no, I do it. I ABC one two three absolutely digivolve on top. It was nonsensical and yeah, upsetting. Yeah, it got chaos. And then we also <laughs> played Quidditch. Um, yes. And then also, if anyone was here earlier, yeah, Digidescent nerds. Yeah. So if anybody remembers how we had that biking gang and we would wear the fingerless gloves. Yes. For our gang, I remember that. Um, if anybody else ever played Foursquare, it just like there's four boxes on the ground and you have to bounce the ball and try to get it so the other person can't catch it. Yeah. And so you and I would wear our gloves and we called ourselves the grippers because we'd have better grip trying to catch the ball. Oh my and God, I forgot all thing. about that until you just said it. <laughs> oh, holy shit. The grippers. Guys, we are so cool. We're so fucking yeah. cool. You don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, my gosh. You? Did you also wear grippy gloves that made other people really upset? <laughs> what was the... Oh, gosh. What was the... Um, we, we played it uh, when we were in grade eight, uh, t two places uh, near Mr. H's portable on mm -hmm. that brick wall. And we played it on the arena's wall oh. way way in the back corner um where you would bounce the ball off the wall bounce the ball off the wall and and you could like try and catch it to get the person out or you could like oh my god, god sorry the... mayo got from level one to 50 today what the hell were we doing <laughs> we, we were talking and catting and killing some trolls i guess oh my god oh what what, 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 what do we call that though red something uh, red ball no what the f I don't what was it called? But there was, um, oh no, yikes. That sucks, but listless. There was also um, an ice rink right beside uh, the backyard of our school. And oh, they would it... dump all the ice and it would create this giant mountain of snow and ice. And we would play like King of the Hill and chuck each other off of it. Yes, yes. So, yes. okay. Um, 
Uh, also, by the way, I, I was standing still for so long, it logged me out. It's like, well, clearly you're oh, not playing that anymore. To me. So. Yeah, that happened to me a few <laughs> minutes ago. I was like, fine. I'm not going to try to get back in. I'll just chat. Yeah. Yeah, because I got to go. I'm also in my just chatting stream now. But uh, mm -hmm. yes, there was there was the arena. And mm -hmm. absolutely, they would dump all that snow. We'd play King of the Hill, all yeah. that stuff. And like that, th they just let us do that for quite a while. Like, <laughs> I don't think they would like maybe nowadays, but like we would. Yeah, you're legit, not allowed anymore. Yeah, we, we would like legit like wrestle off of those snow mm -hmm. piles and stuff. I remember, you know, Ryan. Yeah. He and I were like a little bit rivals in certain things we did and this and that, mm -hmm. but also pretty good friends. And like, yeah, we king of the hill, the hell out of each other one day. I remember full on like running and tackling him off the top of that hill. And we just like snowballed down the hill until we were at the bottom. It was insane. I'm like, I'm glad nobody got hurt. Yeah. But who won king of the hill that day? <laughs> Who remembers? <laughs> but yeah, do you have to go? I do, yeah. Or should I, I keep a... outing you for all the <laughs> weird stuff we did in elementary school? No, I'm sure people people probably enjoy this. Come on. Who can say that they didn't do weird ass shit as a kid? Or even as an adult? Yeah, sorry. Well, you got in trouble for spinning, like in a circle? You just spun in a circle and people were like way too dizzy. Did you get way too boy dizzy ain't right. and just like bump into people? Little psycho. Yeah. Primary school story. <laughs> oh yeah. Grounders as well. Grounders. Oh was, yeah. Yeah. Where you'd play on the, uh, the jungle gym where the person yeah. who is it, if people don't know, the person who's it has to close their eyes and they it's basically like tag. They have to go and try and get someone. They have to climb around the They have whole, to climb uh... around, yeah, with their <laughs> eyes closed as everyone else tries to climb around on the jungle gym and not get touched. And and if you run along the ground at any point and they yell grounders, then you're you get, you know, you're you're it. Yeah, uh, Woo, I think you got in trouble for pretending to be drunk in elementary school and not for spinning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. In, mm. in high school, we played Manhunt, and uh, we organized... Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. I, this is outside of my Yeah, my I realm. know. It's outside of your purview. I'm sorry. But <laughs> I, I, I had to mention, because of Grounders, we played Manhunt, uh, which was literally yeah. just like basically tag of like, you go, uh, if you get tagged, you are now part of the mm -hmm. it group until nobody is left, right? So like at the end, it's, you yeah. know, 20 people going after one person. Mm -hmm. However, because we were all in high school and our town was small... Um, like there were like mm -hmm. zones of our town, right. Where it's like, oh, oh, up near the Walmart is all like the newer developed stuff. And then over here is like the old library or like the town hall, mm -hmm. we would have quadrants and we would meet, like we legit had Facebook, like a manhunt group. And we would meet in certain sections of the town. And we're like, all right, tonight's manhunt game takes place from the town hall all the way to the old bookstore. You can go anywhere oh from these four corners or you're out of bounds. Okay, go. This person's it and we would just like climb on the town hall like on the roof of the town hall to get away from people and like it was pretty crazy <laughs> yeah that's so fun but we we absolutely like th there was one time where they're like i mean the police also have nothing better to do in a small town and neither did we honestly so they'd like come by because like, I guess, obviously, like someone said something. If it's like, are there a bunch of kids up on the town hall? What the fuck are they doing? Oh, but no. The skill and the trauma. Oh, woo. <laughs> How long did you hide for? Oh, God. Now that I say police and they had nothing better to do in that small town, I'm thinking of other instances where we were just doing nerdy loser thing. Like the time we met in the park and we parked our car because it was it was like later at night. So we parked our cars so that a couple of them we could like see by the headlights. And we had gone to the bulk barn and gotten like candy. So we just had like sour keys and stuff like that. 
And so we were just like talking and hanging out, sitting on the hood of the cars, eating sour keys. And the police came by and I guess they thought we were like doing drugs or something. They're like, what are you kids doing over there? We were like, candy, like legit candy. Would you like some officer? (laughs) I guess most other kids would be doing drugs at night in the park, hunched over their cars, but we weren't. I do vote that from now on we call getting drunk eating apples. Eating apples? Hell yeah. Yeah. In honor of Wu. <laughs> eating apples and going for a spin, baby. You know, Wu, that might have been a, a tactic to get you to come out. When you came out, <laughs> did he tag you? <laughs> No, they didn't take any Skinner, unfortunately. The bulk barn is good, Kappa. It is like kind of like one of those Costco situations where like you got to know what you're buying because otherwise some of it you're not saving a bunch. But mm. yeah, it, it is it is very fun bringing people into places like the bulk barn if they've never been to a place like that. And it's just tubs mm-hmm. and tubs and tubs of really high stacked bins of things of candy of chocolate of baking goods yeah they have stuff like peanut butter there they have all sorts of crazy stuff mm-hmm. they have they have uh pet treats too like pig's oh, really? ears i haven't and like, been to one in a really long time yeah they got pig's ears they have like milk bone like all, all, all the like commercial like the, uh, stuff you'd find in a store like that mm-hmm. i guess but then yeah just other random stuff for them Mm-hmm. Good old bulk barn to movie theater tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get get a little yeah. get a little bag of your favorite treat. Save some money at the movies. Reminds me of one time me and my friends had bought a bunch of chocolate that were on sale during the summer and then went walking around town at some point we realized they were all melted so we just started just (laughs) slurping the melted chocolate off the wrapping (laughs) like a bunch of goblins (laughs) Woo! how much was it oh yeah speaking of goblin woo is a little goblin you you have to know that woo yeah woo, woo is uh Wu doesn't give a shit. He knows what he's about. He knows what he's like. He's like, he used to eat, um, oh God, what was it? Uh, Cheez-Its and stuff like that. And, and it doesn't now. Yeah, see, he doesn't like getting called out, but it's What's true. He knows Cheez-Its? in his heart. What's that? What's wrong with eating Cheez-Its? <laughs> no, no, nothing, nothing. You know, as long as you're not eating pounds and pounds of them. But, pounds? you know. How many pounds? Well, someone tell me immediately. <laughs> you know what, though? I will say uh, Wu, in addition to being very sweet, is also an incredible baker. Like he legit works at mm. like a bakery. That's his whole shtick. So like he made like pride cupcakes and stuff like that that I tried. Like I, so I visit him and exactly once when I was coming to, to visit. I was like, oh, well, whereabouts oh. are you at if you don't mind? And I went and uh, visited, and he was just getting off of work. So we, we were only able to chat for a little bit before he had to go. But uh, I, I picked up a bunch of—I was like, all right, what did you make? And then I grabbed, like, three or four baked things and a couple other things that he didn't make but suggested to me from this place. And it was very good. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm guessing—I don't know if it's, like, GTA that you're at, Woo, but look up Duo, D-U-O, Patisserie. It is unbelievable. Like the pastries there are so crazy good. I don't live near there anymore, but oh my god, Kappa is is freaking out. It's always cool to see like warrior by name, baker by game. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, God. Okay. This is very fun and I don't want I, I do have to go to meet this person though, or I'm totally gonna leave them hanging, so Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. <laughs> but no, this has been okay, good. This is fun. It was nice it was nice to meet all of you. Yeah. I, I think I th- I think Tris is a winner, huh, folks? Everyone's like, you're this hidden gem. But no, it's been like like you said, we just recently reconnected, which has been really good and uh yeah. Yeah. When it, when I'm in the area, I'll be sure to like let you know and this and that. And same thing. If you do uh, come up this way, 
we'll get yeah, up to definitely. trouble in the city. Cool. Yeah, definitely. I'll come back if uh, Shay will have me. Yeah. I feel like I failed on the RuneScape front, but <laughs> I'm good for I'm good for chit chat. Yeah. No, that's all good. Or we, like we maybe I'll practice in between. I'll get yeah. better. We we can do RuneScape off uh, strip. Um, chatting is good too, but also just like. There are plenty of games that we could get up to. A lot of them free. Some of them. Mm. So Steam, the whole thing is Steam has sales. Now, now, yeah. now you'll know that like summer sale, winter sale, and things go on. Especially if you're older games where it's just like, oh, this is four dollars. Okay, cool. Mm. And the rabbit hole. <laughs> but. Yeah. I'm going to mention Pokemon just one or two more times in the next little while. And, you know, maybe you'll get it. Maybe I'll send you a, a Charmander if you do. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm taking off. Bye. Take it easy, everyone. Have a good stream, Tris. Take it easy. Bye, folks. Bye.